Hello again, Scrambled Brains listeners. This is your pal Will Runyon Jr., and I'm here to remind you, if you didn't get a chance to check out LakeKaniknik.com last week, you should do it now. Lake Kaniknik is the new podcast that I'm uh, co-writing, co-directing, producing, and uh, acting in, and I'm very excited about it. I want everybody to hear it, so uh, that's where you come in. First of all, I want you to hear it, because I think if you're a Scrambled Brains fan, you're very likely going to like this show. Second of all, we need you to go to iTunes, subscribe, leave us some reviews, um, because that's how we're going to be able to launch this thing and uh, get it in front of people, you know, get get some uh, get some notice going and share it. You know, uh, we also have a Facebook page. You can like us there, share us there, uh, follow us on Twitter at Lake Knick. And if you're not into iTunes podcasting and stuff, uh, we also have a YouTube channel. You can play it off of there. So, LakeKnickKnick.com, there will also be a link at ScrambledBrainsCast.com in the upper right-hand corner, or WordsCo.com, which is uh, the parent site for uh, all the WordsCast network shows, which is basically just Scrambled Brains and Lake Knickknick right now. However you get there, just make sure you get there, please. We really appreciate it, and uh, enjoy the show. Who would win in a fight, Lemmy or God? Trick question. Lemmy is God. Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Welcome to Scrambled Brains Wordcast. I'm Matt Clements. I'm Nikki Bell. And I'm Will Runyon Jr. And this is episode 112, which will be very. Star Wars centric, but we have other news we're going to get to. So if you don't want to be spoiled and you haven't seen it yet, uh, you can listen to this first part. But when I start saying, and now we're going to talk about Star Wars, you need to turn this shit off. Unless you've already seen it. And then go watch it and then come back. By the time this gets published, it's going to be nearly two weeks. Well, yeah, yeah, but there's some, there's some asshole that'll be like six months from now. I'll say something and they'll be like, hey, spoilers, man. Well, too bad. You're getting yelled at for ruining the end of like, you know. Raiders of the Lost the Ark. Well, I, I wanted to start off on a positive note, but... No, we're not going straight into yeah. the most depressing news I've heard all week. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, uh, Motorhead's uh, Lemmy Showmeister's gone at 70. Wow. He just yeah. turned 72. Right. Like, and they, not like he just turned 72, like oh, he just turned 70, 70 as, as well. well. Yeah. Yeah. And they just, so, I believe they just went out on tour. Just I can't like believe that. What did he die yeah. of? Did the mole finally uh, explode? Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, he probably like, I'm going to have this removed, and he got a serious staph infection <laughs> and it killed him. Right, that's it, yeah. He was going to, you know, try to convert to pop. I just. He needed a prettier face. Yeah, I, 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 I this know. is. I I don't I'm dealing I'm having a hard time with this one, guys. I mean, it's, it's just been released that he's passed. I don't think anything's up about why or how or I'm sure it was found dead on tour bus or found dead in hotel room. Right, something. So oh, he'd been battling have, serious health issues, forcing right. him to scale back his alcohol yeah. and tobacco habits. Yeah, I've, not quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Over the last year, I've heard a couple interviews with him, people talking about him, and and every everything. He, he was like sick doing an interview. He, mm. Everybody's like. So how's Lemmy doing? He's like, hey, uh, he's a warrior. You know, like nobody would say he's going downhill fast. But <laughs> the alcohol has only been keeping him going. Indicated. Yeah, he's they, killed they the preserved pack. him. They probably won't have to use formaldehyde whenever they... <laughs> They're going to take Lemmy's blood and use it to embalm other people. <laughs> <laughs> to get them to the new thing. I have a feeling it's like Khan's blood from Star Trek Into Darkness. They'll take it out and it'll heal other people. It'll right. be like, or they'll just get really buzzed. It'll Keith, be like, Keith, or, Keith Richards is first in line. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be the start of the zombie apocalypse. Oh shit! <laughs> Lemmy's blood. That would, I think he would like that. That'd be a pretty yeah. fucking metal, actually. Yeah, yeah. That, that his blood starts the zombie apocalypse. I think he'd be totally fine with that. So, man, that sucks yeah. though. Oh, uh, from Triple H himself. One life lived your way oh. from the beginning till the end. See you down the road, my friend. Thank you for the gift of your sound. <laughs> Triple H. It's time to play the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time to play the game. Yeah, he was uh, an institution. He was yeah. A, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, man, and this just got dropped on us we, before we oh, started recording. Moments, yeah, yeah. Before we're like recording. moments before these microphones were turned on, we found out about this. We so. shut down to start. 
Another news today. Uh, yeah, uh, no uh, shit. Stan Lee, how does Stan Lee live to be 93? <laughs> I guess I, I guess that goes to tell you the clean living. I don't think <laughs> piss and vinegar, true believer. I, Excelsior! <laughs> as, as far as I recall, Stan's always said, you know, I've posed with cigarettes, but I've never been a smoker. Yeah, no. You know, so I don't smoke or drink. I do, however, eat cheeseburgers constantly. Mm, yeah, well, because they're delicious. Yeah. And pizza, and tacos. Yeah. So. Super Soldier Serum also. Fried that's, chicken. That's, that's his other secret. Yeah. Well, he's been, I think we figured out he was born in like 1922 or something It's like insane. That. I mean, it, yeah. he better make it to 100. Yeah. You know, and then, and, then he can kick off, but and he's got to at least make it to 100. He's got to, they got to die cut him and oh, uh, yeah, emboss and foil him for his 100th birthday. <laughs> oh, it's got to be, yeah, they've got to do pictures of just in 100. Holo hologram know, cover him. Hologram him, yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Edition. Especially right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's all over the the Lemmy soul. Uh, yeah. So so, so the, Stanley yeah. ninety three Lemmy dead. Yeah. <laughs> seventy. At seventy. <clears throat> yeah. So that's rough. Uh, other breaking news today: we finally get uh, uh, pictures of oh, yeah. Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange. Doctor Stephen from, Strange. Uh, Entertainment Weekly. Those are awesome, yeah. by the way. Yeah, Everybody should great. go to our Facebook page. Uh, Scramble brains cast slash Facebook slash whatever. Yeah, Facebook, you know, wait till you www.facebook slash scramble brains cast. There you go. Go there, look at them. They're great. Yeah. This has given me nothing but hope it, for this it, movie. It, it right, reminds sure. me of the, um, the honest trailers where it's like, if this, if they're talking about Ant Man. It says, this doesn't prove that Marvel's just making their movies on a dare. <laughs> and it's like, Okay. Uh, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy Guardians was the, the one Galaxy. that I was yeah, like, Guardians of oh. the Galaxy. Oh, God, this is going to be their bomb. Nope. Ant Man, oh God, this is going to be their bomb. No, they're like Ant Man. It's like holy shit, you know they can't do wrong. No, I don't know what <laughs> Iron Man three was pretty bad, but yeah, but it, it made, made a bug. Yeah, you know, but they're really good at those first movies. Like when they, yeah, right out of the, the gate, origin, those first those first stories, movies yeah. they do really well. Yeah, yeah, they nailed it. The only one I can think of where the sequel may have been better than the first one was Captain America. America. Yeah, a lot of people. And oh my that. gosh, Civil War! I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw the trailer on the big screen. I went and saw Star Wars, Star Wars again. Yeah. Uh, this See, weekend. See, that wasn't before the, the viewing I saw, and it was cool. It was I, I think that's oh. the first time I've seen it, like actually in the theater. And also the new X Men trailer. I saw know, that. Uh, yeah. That looks. I mean, I'm on board. Yeah, I'm check it looks that out. okay. So. Uh, we just also watched uh, once again the uh, Deadpool <laughs> Red Band trailer Speaking number two, the band board. one, which is yeah. awesome. Uh, Not band, but like Fox. Red Fox Red. better to learn from this. I yeah. Matt and I were talking about this earlier. We think this will surpass the X Men. Yeah, no, no, yeah. this you will make what? more money. I think you're probably right. I, well, you know what? I don't know because it's rated R. You know, there are going to be so many kids going to see X Men, but I don't know. But Deadpool may have. But so they're making it so cool. It's, it's like yeah. the movie that you go. You you slap down your money to see like you know my best friend's wedding, but then you go sneak into yeah. this movie. But, well, yeah, yeah, but so it doesn't get credit for. for I know, but it. I think that people are going to be talking about. I I just think it's gonna. How does Fox feel when they threw all this money and hype into X Men Apocalypse and Deadpool comes in and steals all the glory? It just must chip yeah. chap their ass some because it was just so. like we don't even care. Just do what you want. Yeah, and it just goes to show you guys, the executives at Fox, don't know shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. I will go see X Men and I'll go. Okay, yeah, I, I got to. It's almost like you know you have to, right. but then. Uh, Deadpool's February twelfth. February. That's where like movies go to die. Die. Right. It's gonna, it's bang, gonna blow bang. up February. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I will go see this twice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Easily. If We've it's already... half as good as this trailer makes it oh, out to be. Yes. I mean, it looks amazing. That trailer's also on our Facebook page. Yes. yes. Uh, Facebook. Uh, uh, technically, if, if it if it's a Deadpool clip or something, it's on our Facebook page. It's, and it's great. The Empire Magazine one is funny yes. too. Have you? You didn't get to see that one. Uh, He's on the cover. It's it's on our our Facebook page. We'll watch it later. But yeah, yeah you should go funny. there, and you should like it if you have it by this point. Will absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you think I do. And uh, so and should there you. It was home. like a weird little Deadpool trailer before Star uh, Wars. Also, okay, I didn't see that. Uh, one. I didn't either. Yeah, it was just it was like a Christmas. I can't remember what it was. It was like in a sweater, drinking some cocoa or something. Oh, it was just it was like a little ten second. Yeah, I yeah. think it was something like that. That's and, of course, you know, there was no actual movie footage. It was just like, hey, I'm Deadpool. Now, well, that's how they're marketing this, and yeah. it's just it's, it's brilliant. Great. Yeah, right, yeah. 
I they and the thing is they're doing that. It's like okay, we don't have to market X Men. X Men sells itself. But we got to market the shit out of Deadpool, and it's killing it. There, yes. Everything you see, it's like whole. I, yeah, it's just so. Much. Every time anything Deadpool video comes on, I'm disappointed if it's the actual trailer because I want him to just be out there. I just want Ryan Reynolds to be Deadpool and do Deadpool <laughs> shit, and I just sit there and watch him and grin. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's so good. And it's oh, just, I, guarantee, uh, I guarantee you. The they're, next, like, giving me actual story. I was like, no, you can say that from the movie. The next San Diego Comic-Con, he oh. will come out as Deadpool. Oh, my he God. He will do a panel as Deadpool. I guarantee yeah. it almost. Yeah. It, but, oh, it's so um, good. Apparently, for some odd reason, Taskmaster, uh, this is maybe strange. even a B or C level villain in Marvel. It's so He's weird. not even really a villain. What he does is he trains henchmen. He has, like, a henchman academy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's one of those he, guys that fights the Avengers as he has to, yeah, not because he wants to. But he's more of a he, he's known for fighting Deadpool, Spider Man. He's one of those just Marvel U villains that gets around everywhere. Apparently, which weirdly, like Doctor Doom is, but yet somehow Doctor Doom is part of the Fantastic Four rights. This is weird. Yeah, uh, Fox had it going; they wanted to do a Taskmaster show. Hmm. And uh, they they let it lapse. It's gone back to Marvel, so now he can be part of the you know Marvel. Which is Cinematic fine because I always remember him as an Avengers villain, but yeah. mainly. So I mean, he did fight Spider Man. I mean, and do should they care? Like it doesn't sound like why why do they even want to use him? But it would be great for Deadpool. Yeah. Okay. Is is what it is because what it is, Taskmaster has photographic reflexes. Once he sees somebody uh, do something, he can copy it. Mm -hmm. That's not really useful. It doesn't sound like it. Oh, yeah. But you don't even realize how useful yeah, that would be in your life. he doesn't have to train. I mean, he has right. to get his body physically fit. But he sees Captain America kick ass. He can mimic every move Captain America okay. does or dare does. I mean, you know, like in those, like, you got served movies, he would kick everybody's ass because oh, yeah. he could just watch you do it, and then he could just do the exact well, he, same thing. Well, that's the thing. He couldn't come up with his own shit. No. He could copy Sorry, everything you. you just did. So, but yeah, what well, happens is uh, yeah. Deadpool... Uh, Deadpool's buddy gets kidnapped by uh, Taskmaster. Deadpool goes to save him. And it's like, I can... And at first, he, he kicks the shit out of Deadpool because he knows all these other moves. Right. So Deadpool just goes... Like, he starts breakdancing and doing crazy shit. And he's like, I can't copy you. I can't... What the hell are you doing? Yeah. Can't yeah. do that. Yeah, because he's just chaotic. Yeah. He's, not, he's not... There's only two guys like that. Him and Deadpool and Spider-Man. Because yeah. Spider-Man doesn't really... He's not trained. No, he doesn't he's, really... He didn't learn to fight. He just throws he just, punches and jumps He's got around. spider sense, and he's got super agility. He's got super fast reactions and super strength. So, like, somebody throws a punch, he just ducks instinctively and then swings a hand up and just hits him. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to Spider-Man's no. fighting abilities. But, yeah, I mean, this will be a good addition. Let's see... I guess the Carrie Fisher sleeps with nerds. We can cover in Star Wars. That's interesting. I oh, she's that. talking about she's taking advantage of fans. Yeah. She said, all I get out of it is sex, but, you know, you're rocking their world and they love it. Right. I'm sure the, the fans are not too upset. Oh, no. That. Well, it depends. Was it like 20-year-old yeah, well, Carrie it? Fisher was like last Are we talking 45? like 1987 <laughs> Carrie Fisher? Yeah. Or, you know, 2007 Carrie Fisher? Well, she was looking, I mean... Pretty banging through the '90s for the most no, part. No, yeah, I, mean, I remember she, she didn't look that bad in uh, Jane when she Silent was in, Bob. No, and then she was in Austin Powers too in '97, and she, she didn't look Austin that bad. Powers? Yeah, she played the therapist. When well, they go to when they go when Scott Evil and Doctor oh, Evil go okay. to that, she plays, plays the therapist. I remember the scene. I didn't remember her being the therapist. Yeah, she was. So. Oh right, yeah. Oh, uh, real quick, the Reverse Flash will be back. The second, the second part of e -bon the. Thon. But it will be Ebon Thon. It will not be Harrison Wells. It will not be that actor. Good because I keep driving into the ground. That's the man that killed my 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 mother, and, no, and it's not, not the guy who killed your right. mother. He was posing as that guy, and oh. the guy who killed your mother. It's it, supposed to be very smart people. Come on. But it's going to be reverse. Where before the Harrison Wells zoom. Or, you know, reverse Flash, had known the Flash for so long, and mm -hmm. now the Flash was just meeting him. Now we're getting it where the Flash has fought this guy before, but he and never. this will be the first time he, and this will be the first uh, time. Oh, it's all timey-wimey. Yeah. And he's going to have to go back in time again at some point <laughs> to fight him during while his mom gets stabbed. Well, that yeah. means you know Flash can't kill. I wonder if that'll come up. I can't kill you. Yeah, I can't. Because yeah. if I do, it'll screw everything up. Well, see, that's the thing. He's like, okay, all I know is I gotta let you run out of speed. 
because I know it's going to happen. Yeah. And I, I can't jack with time. And, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, really timey That's going to be weird. Speaking of which, uh, the Doctor Who Christmas special. Didn't watch it. Didn't it was good. Seen it yet. It was uh, River Song Shows Up. Doesn't recognize it. Right. Because it's it's, the title oh, of it's it, something about River. The, the, the husband. You, you meet like three other people that River Song's married. Ah. Okay. And the doc. what it is is uh, the doctor finds her, and she knows he has 12 faces. And yeah. these are all the faces he has. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, what if he's got a face you haven't seen yet? Mm-hmm. She goes, well, he has his limits. Or something <laughs> like that. And he's like, oh, okay. And you, you see shit like they go to the TARDIS. He's like... But she's like, well, we're going to take this. And he goes, you can't steal this. Why not? Because he might notice it missing. She goes, it's a time machine. We take it, do what we want, come back, exact moment we left. He's, so she doesn't know he's, she's no, talking yeah, about she oh, okay. she goes, So he's, he's, he's like, wait a minute. She's, he's never noticed it missing before. Uh, <laughs> he's like, well, maybe he'll notice it now. Yeah. She goes and she goes, she goes and I don't want to spoil it. Uh, Will hasn't got to see it. I don't want to spoil it. She, she goes, now, I should warn you, it's it's not as snug as it looks. So she shuts the door with oh, the TARDIS. A little bigger on the And he goes, he goes, finally. And this guy goes, finally. He goes, it's my turn. And he walks, he goes, oh, my God, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> he, he finally He's never got to, to do it. Yeah, he finally gets to be the companion. He finally yeah. gets to be I the, just always remember that one with Clara when she's like, it's smaller on the outside. Yeah. He's like. What? That's new. <laughs> he goes, yeah, go ahead, say it. Everybody does. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, uh, Sp- Ultimate Spider-Man uh, voice actor arrested him. <laughs> Suspicion of DUI. So, uh, Drake Bell. Yeah, Drake Bell. So as This time- is also the guy that there was the rumor he was living at Disneyland for a while. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Magic Kingdom, indeed. Like, it's... So, yeah, I could only, I don't know why this show will not get canceled. I absolutely hate it. Every time people, like, they, like, like, oh, I want to buy you some Star Wars merchandise. Here you go. And it says Ultimate Spider-Man all over it. And I'm like, thank you. And all I'm thinking is, this is the worst Spider-Man show ever made. Yeah. Yes. Yet, it is the longest-running <laughs> Spider-Man show ever it's, made it's by ready, episode count. It's getting ready for its third season. And I'm like, you suck. Yep. <laughs> so, all right, that's pretty much wrapping up. Anybody got anything else before we hit Star Wars? Uh, any, like, cool Christmas stuff? Oh. Like, oh. No, it's not good visual good for radio. That's already shown. My boys got me. I need a new wallet. Ooh. I got a Ma- Marvel that wallet. Better? What is that? I guess it's probably like vinyl or something. Yeah, vinyl or something. Nice. Now, the thing I noticed, though, is it's a first appearance number one wallet. So I got all little mini pictures of all Hulk number one, Iron Man number one, Amazing Spider Man number one, uh, the first appearance of Iron Man, first appearance of the X Men kind of stuff. You look over the wallet, there's no Avengers. Hmm, There's no Avengers number one. So I'm wondering if that's a copyright thing. Yeah. Because I don't know why. Maybe they didn't get the rights for that one. Or somebody else. Or they just had another but wallet yeah. with Avengers number one all over so it. It's pretty cool. Some suspense. Yep. So I'm very happy with uh, that. I got a uh, fifty dollar gift card to MissouriComics.com, which I've already spent. <laughs> I got twenty twenty nine issues of Amazing okay. Spider Man with that. Wow. My my wife feels horrible. You don't have much under the tree. I'm like, I, how many boxes have I had delivered to the house this month? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Transformers. You've got another one coming, actually. Yeah, I should see. tell you. I got the shipping notification today. Oh, sweet. So, uh, yeah. That's oh, what, yeah, that I got two. I got Ultra Magnus, too. That one that yeah. you and came Star in. And Starscream. And Starscream. The yeah. one you came in and bragged about, like, six months ago, I finally <laughs> got. Uh, yeah. I got some games. That's probably what I'm hey. most excited about. I got two board games. One's called Pandemic. It's it's an older... It's I don't know. It's not old, old, but... They've got like a bunch of expansions for it. It's it's super fun. We played it like Christmas Eve or night or maybe the day after. Great. It, <laughs> it was in that area. <laughs> uh, really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to playing it some more. Uh, and Mysterium, which is what I was doing, why I was late, uh, <laughs> like why I forgot it was like podcast night. It was because I was playing. Candy and I were like, I want you to, learning how to play. I this want game. you to know. And on my way to work today, I hit a deer, yeah. <laughs> screwed up my car, spent the whole day 
waiting for the insurance company to call me, and I was here on time. Well, I was the first one here, which is is odd, and I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> did yeah. I miss a text? Did I? Right. So no. yes, I but just totally it, spaced what it happens. Was. Oh, um, real quick, Ash and the Evil Dead. Oh yeah, you have you have it? Have you seen it yet? Up? Is it no. Over or okay. No. No, we, I haven't seen. I think I'm two episodes behind. Okay. Oh, okay, we can't talk about. So that. we won't talk about, but still good. I, I yeah. Mean, still, Although when you said last week, oh, about this one, I don't know. I know. I understand you why know. you said it. Oh uh, yeah. So and I, I got, get why they did it, but not happy about it, but understandable. I it's got one episode left. It's already been renewed for Ash second dies. season. No, I'm kidding. No, well, that doesn't, yeah. We and know actually, that doesn't happen. Yeah. That crossed my mind. He's <laughs> three movies in a... If you can't have Ash no. versus Evil Dead, he'd die. Now, yeah. if you've noticed so far, we're nine episodes in. They've referenced the first two movies. They've never referenced Army of Darkness. I, isn't that a rights thing? They don't, don't have know. a rights to Army of Darkness? Oh, I have no idea. I think that, that that's what it is. What, was it done by a different studio? It was, yeah, yeah, I think it was. Like was. a bigger budget studio movie, yeah. Okay. I think, I guess. Seems like it. They definitely had a bigger budget. Oh, yeah. I mean, and that's the one, like, that's the one you always, you used to always find the videos and DVDs of. Yeah. But now, it's a little easier to find the other two now, but back in the day, like, when DVDs first showed up, that was, I think that was the first one that got released. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. It was Ash vs. Evil was Dead. So. Right. Or not Ash vs. Uh, Army of Darkness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is sad, because it doesn't make any sense with at least watching two. You don't yeah. know what's going on. Right. And, it's, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's a weird, but... Yeah, I never understood. I think maybe that's why everybody said it was their favorite or something, or no, maybe people just liked it. Yeah, it's just more released. Probably I never more understood. people have seen it. I always thought the second one was the best. <laughs> okay, but, you okay, would. Should we launch into Star Wars? Oh, All later? right, so uh, oh, oh, no, let's Star go first. Okay. Destroyer. Good news first. Mm-hmm. Has broke every box oh, office shit. record. Yeah, no. Has made over one billion dollars. Has yet to be released in China, which is the second biggest market. And now, to might us. we add that it's only been out for like. Two weeks? Not even two weeks yet. And it's yeah. broke a billion dollars already? Yes. Now, the highest grossing movie of all time, Avatar, is at two point something billion. I don't know exactly. Yeah. And this made that in two weeks. It made a yeah. billion in two weeks. <laughs> so, I'm going to think that maybe we got a new king. Yeah. Kingdom. Yeah. It's the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah. yeah. And, and what's happening is I guarantee you... A lot of people didn't go see it the first weekend because that was just fanboy weekend. You knew yeah. it was going to be packed. Right. Actually, I did go see it on Sunday. I was trying to hold out because I didn't want to go to a packed theater, but I just couldn't because the spoilers. Like, everybody... Oh. I, you, like yeah, everybody I, turned, I got spoiled, like, ah, okay, a major spoiler, the day of. Yeah. The we morning. Went, we, I had to get up, go to work that day, and I was going that night, and when I checked Facebook that morning as I was getting dressed, I got spoiled. I won't tell it what it is until we get into the spoiler now, section. I'm I'm glad the movie was as good as I thought it was because I'll tell you we went on Saturday. This is the the following week, the second weekend. Yeah. Saturday show. Ten ten in the morning, still packed. Yeah. So we didn't get there early enough. Got shitty seats. Uh, I, I always smuggle in my own seasoning for my popcorn, <laughs> and they've had this big thing of it for the last. I don't know, four or five, six months, let's say. They've had their own. So, like, oh, don't need to use mine. Hmm. The one time I forget it, they don't have it out. So, I'm like, God damn it. This is starting off really bad. It has peyote in it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's my peyote one. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I need crack on my popcorn. <laughs> but this thing has blown up. Um, I do cocaine. <laughs> I mean, everybody's story. getting. Yeah, so, okay. We do a Spo- rundown. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. This is the, your time. Is- you pull out and you leave. Yes. But- it's, it's a reference to the trench run from Star yeah. Wars. What did you oh, think okay. I was meaning? Yeah, think yeah. you pull out in time? <laughs> so do we want to go uh, chronologically through the, the film? Are we going to do it like we around? well like we used to do picture show and tell? Is this going to be a mini picture show and tell here for this one? We could. I, I guess. Know, I don't know if we have to go now. that in depth. Okay. Uh, but- so we're going to just start at the start. I don't know. Okay. Unless there's anything you want to touch on. Like, you could just go, like, what are the things that really annoyed you about it? Or what did you like? or, or It I mean, would or be, just... for me, it would be easier to tell you what I liked than it would be for me to tell you. Because I'll be here all day if I told you what annoyed I me. I want to hear. Okay. I want to hear because I want to, yeah, I want to understand. Okay, all right. So, this movie, let's just start at the start. 
We get the crawl. Crawl's fine. Now, you know what I noticed? Okay, go ahead. You know what I did notice? They, they, they did this thing, and there was always this debate, what's it going to be like without the Fox fanfare? Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, it's going to be that stupid Disney castle with do, 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 Wish out, Upon right? a Star. Mm. They didn't do that. Right. Lucas went straight into Lucasfilm, mm-hmm. then bam, Burn. Star Wars, yeah. which <laughs> is fine with me. It looked I didn't. I barely even noticed. Yeah. So... Yeah. I, I was that this the, the whole crawl was fine. Every time that is so, I love that how it hits like the music. I don't know. I love it. it, 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 it you just like drop no. into the, the yeah. What what I got from the crawl real quick is that the empire just fell apart. Yeah. Without Vader and the Emperor, the Senate took back over, mm-hmm. and the Republic. The uh, the first order come mm-hmm. up from the ashes of the empire. Yeah, they're hunting down Luke Skywalker. They figure if they take him off the board, so it's an no elite group. It's like an army to hunt down Luke Skywalker. The, imp- the, the, the impression I got was that the galaxy is actually kind of divided. That this first order, like those those systems that were really loyal to the empire, oh, yeah. they kept those. But then the Republic, so. And this resistance that's a big player in this movie, mm-hmm. they're almost like the French underground mm-hmm. in First Order space. That's yeah. how I took that. So that, okay. I can see that. But they, they don't tell you that. Right. So that's a total so, guess yeah, on my so, part. And they're not really, they're not like working for the Republic. They're like a separate, they're just sort of like Yeah, out they're getting support from the Republic. It's like the old vets, it's like it's all we know. <laughs> they aren't. <laughs> we yeah, can't do right. anything else. They really aren't the army of the Republic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are a resistance group that is being supported, probably under the table. Probably not after this movie anymore, though. Right, yeah. There's no yeah. more... Because I'm gonna, I have a feeling we saw the start of another Star War in this movie. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, so yeah, when they came on at the end and they said the Star Wars had begun, they didn't now, say that. <laughs> the the one drawback, if you know, one. Well, hold up. The beginning scene, you see the is it a moon? It's a moon and it starts to get a clue. Uh, eclipse. It's a planet. That's a planet. It's Jakku. Now we're all yeah. used to the. The over the overhead shot or not the the underbelly shot mm-hmm. of right. the Star Destroyer. Yeah, correct. Okay, but now they've decided to make all the vehicles black. Uh, yeah, which really kind of sucks right. on the so so to get well, I think this. They were just in silhouette. Right? Well, the, the Star Destroyer gray. was gray. Yeah. The, the 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 light the new, gray, a very light gray. But those Tie Fighters are black. Yeah, the landing crafts are not black. Uh, I don't know why those Tie Fighters are black. Well, like it looked like everything I've seen as First Order looked black. Right. I mean, yeah, they're Black and red. red. Yeah. Dark black. Even uh, Kenja Ro or whatever, his looks like an Imperial shuttle. Kylo, Kylo red. red. Yeah, Kylo <laughs> red. What I say. Oh, and somebody, <laughs> this is fast forwarding with spoilers, but somebody oh. pointed this out to me and it's like, holy shit, how would you not know who he is? <laughs> Kylo is Skywalker and Solo. You drop the S. Oh. K-Y, you take the L-O from the end of Solo, Kylo. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, and apparently he chose that for himself. I'm guessing, because like, that's not his real name. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know so he's not Darth. Right. Kylo. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's not... something... Uh, it probably Darth Ren, but didn't... no, he's from the Knights of Ren, Ren. which we never see. <laughs> Except up. for in the little flashback. A flashback, but yeah. we don't, he doesn't have cronies hanging around him that right. also... Yeah. Not at all. Okay, right. but okay, we start yeah. off on the planet of... Jakku. Which Jakku. is technically Tatooine 2. Yeah. Why, <laughs> am, why the... Okay, we're going to start right now. Why the fuck can't it just be Tatooine? It's exactly like Tatooine. It is exactly the same. It is a desert world because that where would there's be too much of all a kinds of scavengers. Right. They got moisture evaporators. They're living it. They even have guys that are kind of Jawas but aren't Jawas. Why the yeah. fuck can't it just be Tatooine? Just fucking make it Tatooine, and it because, doesn't matter. Because God knows when. Okay, Luke Skywalker has has vanished. Yes. Okay. Now apparently that's a Jedi thing. When you do something, you just feel a oh, soul. Oh yeah, you just go away. Yeah. Well, you just. Yeah. Exile yourself. Well, Yoda did it on purpose because they would fucking kill him. I don't know why Luke did it. It's yeah. well, he Obi-Wan. was just so disheartened, and we'll cover uh, that in a little. The bit. same reason Obi Wan did. Obi Wan did it to look over, look, yeah, to watch, watch Luke. Watch Luke. Yeah, but as minute. far as we know, Luke ain't watching nobody. No, yeah. So there's nobody out there, right? Apparently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But here, yeah. Well, what, so well, but and Jakku that didn't exist. That never appeared. No. In any of the past That's movies. it's another big thing about this thing is all three of these planets we go to in this movie are just variations on planets we've already seen. My yeah. biggest gripe about this but whole movie new. is it is just a fucking retread yeah. of everything we've seen before. And I wanted to see uh, something new. 
This is nothing new is happening here. Yeah, you've got your desert planet, you got your forest planet, you got but the snow just, planet. I mean, yeah, holy shit! Yeah, that yeah. might as well have been Tatooine, Hoth, and Endor. It could have just as well been. Mm. <laughs> I can't argue with that, really. Yeah. But okay, anyway. Yeah, I know because well, so, and also there's it's a well, okay, yeah. I mean, but we're introduced to the pilot Poe po Dameron. A.K.A. Han Solo. Yeah, which... Okay, here we go. I like this character. I like him a lot. He, I, he did bring the... He was the comedy relief in a way. He in a way. Some comedy yeah. Relief. yeah. He's Han Solo. Yeah. The problem yeah. is, is imagine Star Wars, if Han Solo showed up at the start, then just dropped out for a whole hour, and then showed up again at the end without any explanation because you thought he was dead, whatever. You know, yeah. I don't know. So, so how am I supposed to have a new Holy Trinity when one of these guys ain't even in half the fucking movie? And just, it was the one I liked! It, you know, it makes it cooler when he shows up. No, it doesn't, because he just comes out of nowhere. I don't even know how they know to show up at that planet. <laughs> well, I'm sure the, the okay. Anyway, we're, we're so suppose there to get a, a memory stick yeah. from this old man. You mean the Death Star plans? Oh wait, no, no it's a it, it's a flash drive. <laughs> no, okay, that whatever. Is, that is odd that this old man in the middle of nowhere has a piece of a map to locate Luke Skywalker. Right. It's not Tatooine though. So it's not Tatooine. Yeah, no, kidding. Yeah, it's be too old obvious. guy, old guy exiled on a desert planet who has the key to the Return of the Jedi. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man! <laughs> and Max von Sydow. Well, well, to be fair, you know, uh, R two D two had the plans originally. He wasn't the old man on the planet with the plan. No, I know. No, but but it's the but, same thing. <laughs> the person with the with the secret information gives yes. it to the droid and goes, Run! Right. Get right. out of here. Yeah, or I'm yeah. getting captured. Help me, you're my only hope. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, only, that's the only thing it was missing was him doing a hologram on it. Uh, yeah, no shit. It's like, go, BB-8, you have the secret plans. Go. And he goes off into the fucking desert. I'm surprised he didn't get captured by Jawas. And if this was Tatooine, he would have. He almost yes. did. He got captured. He was in the... That's nose. true! He did get captured by a dude on a robotic horse or something. No, no, it was like a giant... It was a. It looked like a lizard. What are, drew back. It looked like drew back in armor. Do back. Yeah, drew back. no, it, it like was... Drew back. Yeah. Now, did you notice... As Holy it rolls shit, off, it's as, even worse. As BB-8 rolls off into the desert, a head pops up. Oh, yeah. And looks Which, around. It's the same head that was at the bar. And <laughs> it goes like... Uh, the, 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 it, yeah, it's some sort of creature that has no play whatsoever. It, yeah, any, no. It, it, you seem like that would be like, uh-oh, BB-8's going to be in trouble. This All thing's right. going to try to eat him. him. But it was, but wasn't no. that not the same guy? I don't from know. The, well, it's the same type of alien it's, from it's uh, like the cantina It's like a T-looking head, yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah, got glowing it's like eyes. Kind of flat, Although, <laughs> I do, yeah, I do want to go back and go, exactly why do you pay Max Van Cedow to come in and... Do like three lines and then get killed. And the thing is, everyone's going, "Who's this character? What's his connection to Princess?" Well, Lair? we're not going to tell you. So yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. I mean, everyone's Doesn't like combing over Doesn't the tell. yeah the well, old movies or all the movies. You know what would have been great? Had that been like freaking Wedge Antilles or yeah. even yeah. Lando? That would have been yeah. great if it had been Lando. That See, Wedge why would, would you get Max von Sydow? It doesn't make any yeah. sense because well, it's not somebody we know. It doesn't make sense for it to be him, but, you know, that's what Rogue One's going to be, right? Telling the story of how he got, or, well, no. No, that's, that's how they got the that's, Death Star that's, plans. That's yeah. Okay, see, I'm, I'm even getting confused with this. Uh, okay, <laughs> so, so, oh, yeah, look at that. I'm just going to rip this thing in front. Yeah. I'm going to make you hate it before we're done. <laughs> but, no, uh... But, uh, well, I don't know. I was, like, reading up, and apparently, like, I don't know if it's expanded universe stuff or... But they were saying that that, I guess, according to, like, Star Wars wiki stuff, like, mm. people say they know who that character is, but... I, I, I don't have no idea who he is. Sure. He's like, but, yeah, they say he's, like, this one guy who's, like, an adventurer. I guess there's, like, a, a little, like, paragraph about yeah. who people See, think that, this guy that, must that tells be. you that because every, but, uh, like, every member of the bar from Star Wars has a page or two about him. I have, this I have, guy I have, has a paragraph. I have right, Tales right. from the Mos Eisley's Cantina, which is a whole book just about yeah. these guys. Yeah. But <laughs> this is a problem. You know what you just said? I have to go to a Star Wars wiki mm -hmm. and read a paragraph to know who this character is. Right. I shouldn't have to fucking do that. Right. This movie, if he's this important, should tell me who this guy well, is. Well, we know he's from um, Princess Slayer's planet. Alderaan. Alderaan, because he's, you know, he, uh, uh, Poe calls him general. Virgin, yeah. Yeah, yeah she'll I always be royalty to me or, or yeah. something like yeah. that. And, so, and, the princess, but then this is the massacre scene. Yeah. Where all the stormtroopers come down. With a flamethrower. A flamethrower. Yes. To prove the really bad, that banned weapon. Yeah. Well, and also that was, you know, Luke's family was... Famous. Well, yeah, they flamed yeah. them too, so yeah. whatever. Um, and we get the introduction. Uh, this is Finn, although he's stormtrooper FN87 whatever yeah. the fuck at this point. Yeah, 
And this is the unbelievable turn of Finn, where he's been conditioned from birth to be a stormtrooper. He gets into one firefight and decides, fuck all this shit, yep. right. which is the whole arc <laughs> the of... The quickest PS or the post-traumatic stress syndrome ever. Exactly. The <laughs> whole arc of Finn can be summed up in this. Run away, run away, run away. Oh, shit, I might get some. Let's go save her. Yeah. But I'm going to lie to you guys and risk all your lives so I can get me some poontang. Yeah. That is Finn's entire arc, <laughs> which is not a heroic arc. <laughs> and I'm, I, I, we'll, we'll get into the but Okay, so. I don't like Finn. Let's just yeah. say that. I don't like him. And I wanted to like him. He looked awesome going into this. We also introduced to, uh, is it, was it Captain Plasma? No, Phasma. 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 Somebody's oh, built shit. up. You're like, oh, there's a silver stormtrooper. It looks like right. an advance. That's got to. Oh, it's a woman. Okay, there's got to be a huge yeah, backstory. Yeah, yeah, she's badass. important. No, no, she's not important at like all. Two scenes. Yeah, <laughs> and one of those scenes, she folds immediately when yeah, Wookiee threatens her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's she's supposed to be Boba Fett. You know who? You know somebody pointed this out. There's a yeah. scene later on where the the traitor stormtrooper that they get into the fight with Finn. That should have been her. Yeah. Yeah. That should have been her. Why was that not Captain Phasma? No, no, no. Whatever. Anyway, but this is we get introduced to Kylo Ren. Yes. Or as I like to call him, uh, the em- emo bitchy baby in black. <laughs> and he's his he he comes up and he's going to he does all this cool shit and he kills Max von Sydow. Now let's be honest, there was a cool scene where Poe shoots at him. I didn't like it. And he, he turns and he blaster. stops the blast. I didn't like. I mean, everybody's like, "Oh, that's something you've never seen before." And I'm like, "I actually don't think a Jedi can do that." But whatever. <laughs> I, I mean, Darth Vader did inflict him with his hands at one point, but that's. I always took that as Darth Vader's hands are mechanical, and he yeah. just took that blast. I just took it as like a force. Yeah, I assumed it See, I never point. thought that, like, at but any they moment. But seem to impact his hands. That's true. Yeah, he just, like, bam, bam, bam. And he's just, he's he knew what he was going to do, and then yeah. just took the gun away. Right. But you know. so, I just would have, like, it would have been so much better as if he just, like, flipped out his lightsaber and hit it, and it yeah. would have, like, that hit, was... hit Poe in the shoulder and gone down. Then it would have made why they captured him so easy instead of, like, somehow freezing him. Okay, now real quick, we don't see his lightsaber at freeze. this point. Right, we don't see. No, he pulled it out to kill Max von Sydow. Okay, now you know what the new what the uh, the wiki is on why his lightsaber is the way it is. He has a cracked crystal. It makes sense, and that's why it looks jagged. It doesn't. Again, again, and also it can't. The crystal can't focus the energy, and that's why it's got to release energy off the sides. Uh, Again, you went to a wiki to get this information. Yeah, you had to go to a fan page. I thought it was. I did think it was. uh, Yeah, I thought there was something because it is like. It's like. It's all crackly, flaming. So it's as jacked up as he is. See, after after I know this character by the end of this movie, I just thought he would be like, this is hard. I don't care. I'm not going to just... Here, just tighten that. There, it's done. Whatever. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I thought. It's like this is sort of a, a you know, a piece together, a jury-rigged lightsaber because... I built my lightsaber, gone, Mom. You know, like, mm-hmm. God, you know, I hate happened. you. And, uh, but... Okay, so, and another thing about the physics of blaster, um, uh, what do you call that, projectiles or bolts? bolts? They're called blaster okay. bolts. Okay, um, I thought, I was like, when I, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, that's actually a really interesting thing, because now it's just like suspended in space, and yeah. it'll just hang there forever. There's I, no reason for it to, like, fly, keep flying once he unforces it, right? It's it light have any energy. Kinetic, yeah, it, actually, if you it, right? if you had stopped a blaster bolt like that sure, in midair, it would have dissipated. Like, yeah. yeah, see, that's what it would have right. faded. Because it no longer has the forward momentum. But it wouldn't have looked as I don't cool. think you can do that. It's light. I really yeah. don't think that works. It's... <laughs> Yeah. It's superheated plasma. Okay, or, I really. Or we, or we don't. But, okay, so we actually have a hand weapon that can shoot superheated plasma. And you're gonna yeah. argue that? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not <laughs> a but crazy. I thought it would be cooler if it just stayed there forever, and that was like became like a, a tourist attraction. <laughs> There's like a bolt of plasma hanging. Go in the see air. the Jakku massacre site with there the hanging go. bolt of plasma. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, so, like stick sticks in it. And, and this is kind of where, where Kylo Ren, any coolness he had coming down, as his shuttle comes down and lands, and he walks out of there like Darth Vader. As soon as, like, he starts to try to interrogate Poe, he's like, yeah. do you talk? Do I talk? What are we doing? Hey, are we talking? <laughs> he's like, I can't hear you with that thing. And that's the thing. And he I'm like, actually, I'm, not, he, I'm not scared of this guy. Well, 
tell you what, it's it's body language. He walks over to Poe. Poe's on his knees. He he kind of squats down mm-hmm. and start. Vader would never do. Oh that. shit! Wow. Vader would either force him up with the force yeah. or have the, raise him. You know, or something true. like that. Pick him up. That. You yeah, know, he wouldn't just squat down. No, he would have just went like that and lit and start choking the, the shit, shit out of him. Because right. I mean, think about that. When when We're Vader plans. when no Vader snap. showed <laughs> up, he's walking through dead bodies and he just looks around like, oh. yeah, that's that happened. Then he walks in. And he chokes a guy out, oh. crushes his larynx, throws him off to the side with one hand. Oh, yeah. You know, and then he's like, you know, giving orders and yelling at his subordinates, and they're just doing whatever the fuck he tells them to because nobody wants to screw with this guy. Yeah. I, if Well, yeah, and that's true. In, in the very first scene aboard the ship with Kylo Ren, the guy, the red-haired I know, he's totally... Like, hey, I don't like... You know, he's like giving him... I know, like, shit, uh, right? Nobody respects him. Well, let's be honest. Like, uh, Grand Moff Tarkin didn't take any of Vader's shit either. Yeah, but yet made you go like... Because he... You know, what has Grand Moff Tarkin got on this guy? Because somebody else gave him shit, and he choked a bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that was interesting because I've you know, gone and back and And he did it watched. for, you know, as little as insulting the Force. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. Right. Well, yeah, and yeah, it was funny, like how many people Vader like chokes oh, to death in those. You know, we'll we'll get to that in a minute, because okay, Apology so accepted, so what Captain we do, Nita. yeah, so uh, they get Poe on the ship and they do the torture scene, which is technically once again either you can either look at it as the Leia torture the, scene yeah, or is... the Han torture scene uh, at Bespin because he's strapped. And down you know what? This bothers room. me too because they did this torture scene. Okay. But they repeat this exact same scene later. later. Yeah. yeah. That and that's the thing. They've done they did that again with another thing we're gonna talk about later. Mm-hmm. They did the exact same thing twice in the same movie, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Once you do it, it's done. You move on. But but we'd get to the next kind of scene as the uh the ray. Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, Ray is introduced. She's, as, a she's a scavenger. Just, I'm fine with Ray up to this, this point. This is really cool. I I love the idea of you know there's these star destroyers laying out. This here. leftovers of the and war. That was but cool. It's but cool. that was an image from Star Wars or Star Trek. The the vehicle going across the, mm-hmm. like the, the wide open plane. That's. Like, yeah, uh, and is I'm, that a J.J. Abrams signature? That, that's another thing. Because when they Wars clean up their shit, it. it's like, okay, no. we may have technology on this thing. We don't want falling into yeah. someone else. Not on Jakku. Yeah, it, it fell apart, you know. Jakku wasn't important. It's just... Well, okay, and also, maybe, is could that be a re... I mean, aside from just wanting to kind of do a reboot and create a new universe, basically, mm. by giving these twin planets different names... Uh, was I, yeah. there fighting in the skies over Tatooine? Were there Star Destroyers? I mean, maybe... Well, uh, that's how Star system. Wars starts. There's fighting yeah. over Tatooine. I guess so. Yeah. So, But were any of them taken there out? There been like taking out smaller... See, I imagine ships. there would have been because in the, the prequels, Tatooine was outside of Republic space. But by the okay. time we get to Star Wars, it's inside. It's an imperial territory, which means okay. they took over Tatooine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So would do we, there would be probably fighting is. on Tatooine. Okay. No, okay. we don't even know what system Jakku's in. Or okay. I have no, no idea. No, I know exactly it's what system it's in. The Jakku system. It's in the Jakku system. Because right. you know, Hoth is in the Hoth system. system. Yeah. Yeah. Dagobah is in the Dagobah yeah. system. That's <laughs> a, good, a good point. That's, That's a good something point. I noticed. Yeah, every time. Yeah, like, he's like, you go to the Dagobah system. I'm like, look, I want Luke to show up on the outer rims of the okay, da- now that Dagobah star. He's like, okay, which one of these fucking planets do I go right. to? Yeah, that's something I noticed in the older movies too. Like, planet and system is interchangeable, basically. It's the only planet there that. Can give life, so it would be the Earth system because yeah. we're the, we're the yeah. This is the Earth system. Uh, I guess so that makes yeah, sense. I guess. But I want this is where I noticed that the John Williams score was not very good. Hmm. I'm used to score like you feel it. It's like there. It, that score is making you feel emotion. I can't hum a tune from this. You know what? The I can hum, hum from this. The one they did at the very end, where it's like da 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 da. da. Yeah. Th- that they added. That's from the first one. That sounds familiar. Yeah. The only stuff that is memorable is the stuff I'm like, oh, I know that. That's from the first movies. You're right. Yeah. Oh, and they had little hits of that throughout. There was a little bit of Vader's theme or kind of a variation on it. There was a little bit of the, like the Luke, uh, I don't know what you call it, but there's like that sort of the, the flutey thing that, but, like, yeah. with Luke. And, and so oh, I, don't, I don't know the if that done. Dun, dun, yeah, I think yeah. that made like a little. Appearance. Yeah, seemed, so, like, but they had like little like hits of that, and and then it would kind of be a little variation. 
to kind of say this is the bad guy this yeah. is the good guy you know this is you know oh and this but is it, an, yeah that's true that is yeah another thing you commented on just earlier about like that's from Star Trek that's another thing that bothers me about this movie this movie feels like 2009 Star Trek. Yeah. It feels almost... It does not feel yeah. like Star Wars. It feels like 2009 Star Trek. I didn't get that. It felt like I did. Star Wars. I did. Yeah. The aliens... Me, it felt the, like the next chapter. It felt like the next... Those aliens look like aliens that would have been... Especially the guy who basically... You know, Master Blaster that runs Barter Town that Ray <laughs> takes stuff to. You know, that oh, guy? right. Yeah. That guy... That looks like a Star now, Trek see, alien. When you said that, what I expected going... When you say Star Trek, I think show. Yeah, no, which it's is low movie. budget. They all look like humanoids, just, just different have, color like, with an mask, extra. Which I kind of like that. Shit. That's how I where, like Star where, Trek. Where Star Wars is, if They're you're an crazy. alien, it's a full on helmet, or you're a Muppet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Well, that guy was pretty made up. He yeah. Had, he was like a full body. Well, I'd say he was yeah. CGI, wasn't he? Or Some was of them was CGI. CGI. That was actually Simon Pegg under all that. Ah. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was. Uh, okay. And that's another thing. There's for all that's their right. like, oh, practical effects, practical effects. There was too much CGI in this. Yeah, uh, I, I bet you there was more CGI in this movie than there was in the Phantom Menace. Really? Guarantee it. I don't know. That's, and I'm that's... gonna complain about some CGI. There's two characters coming up that I'm gonna complain oh. about. Oh. One more than other the, the other. Is one of them Edna from The Incredibles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> That is such a good analogy. Okay, so we learn that she scavenges your stuff. She takes it to this little barter town, gets mm-hmm. gets rations. Who run barter town? <laughs> and then oh, uh, wow. while she's at her little hut thing, she hears a commotion. Oh, she goes that's, out. that is the greatest thing. Did oh. you some things? She lives in a downed ATAT. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And do you notice that's Luke Skywalker's helmet she puts on? Oh, I, did, I knew it is was. It? Uh, it's an X-wing pilot. That's okay. Luke's. Well, so is it Hoth? Are we on Hoth? That's kind of like global warming. Oh yeah, it's Hoth. Yeah, he lost the helmet. Yeah. Actually, I saw. I read on a wiki that it wasn't. It wasn't Luke's helmet. It sure does look like Luke's yeah, helmet. They said it was uh, in the thing that I read. They said it was from like Blue Squadron, which wasn't oh, featured man. in the movies. It, because it's in the, the book. Blue, the blue didn't show up because they, they shot Blue, blue Squ- Squadron. That's what's crazy. Yeah. For Star Wars, they there was a red and a, a red, blue, and yellow squadron. Yeah. And Blue Squadron was another squadron of X-Wings. Yeah. Then they shot stuff. There are models that are painted blue. Yeah. With, instead of red stripes. Just and they just right. they cut it all and right. focused on red group. Well, they said, yeah, what I read was that they, because they were shooting with green a blue screen, the blue... It, yeah, it didn't show didn't up. didn't work, yeah. Hmm. So, but... That, I don't know how anybody identified that, but supposedly... <laughs> and she's got little said, dolls of guys in X-Wing. Yeah, which things. is unexplained. Yeah, I know. Well, not a lot of stuff's not explained. But, right, yeah. right. But she hears a commotion. She goes out and so So what did you think of that? The, oh. the, the Well, I say at-at. I don't know. I guess it's... Oh, the AT-18? Yeah. 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 Did you think that was Imperial that like Walker? too much? Like, no. Like pandering? Or no. I'm cool? okay. okay. Well, they've yeah. already established that this was a battleground at one yeah. point. Yeah, because... Of- and the Imperials kind of just left the shit. I bet you because they yeah. lost. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so this stuff is just left behind, and she's scavenging it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean... A person who's homeless and scavenges for their living would probably live inside something like this. But yeah. are you telling me? And yes, it's been what's it been twenty years since Jedi, mm-hmm. according to this. 30. That okay, it's probably more like thirty. Yeah. So there's an entire star destroyer down. You can't find the parts to fix an ATAT or to fix one of those X wings that's laying around or to fix something. It's and you know what I mean. It's like it's all it's all let's piecemeal everything out. Well, yeah. yeah. But there's a whole. Well, damn... I almost seem like this might be a junkyard. I mean, this is basically yeah. junkian for Star yeah. Wars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's the planet of junk. junk. I mean, yeah. it's really. Right. Yeah, and maybe yeah, people like they were scavenging. You know, the, those weren't like mechanics and scientists out there yeah. in the desert scavenging. They're just tearing hunks of metal off these things. So, you know, and, so and, yeah. maybe they took all the parts that were but, worth anything uh, that they could use to repair stuff. Just fast forward, she meets up with uh, BB-8, BB-8. Which I actually like BB-8, yeah. but my here's my problem. I love BB-8. BB-8's fine. Yeah. My problem with BB-8 is there is nothing BB-8 can do that R2-D2 couldn't do. Hmm. So why can't it be R2-D2? Yeah. It's well, sort of like, BB-8, why can't this be Tatooine? B- why can't faster. it be R2? gets around faster. Yeah, and he's like half Yeah, but he's size. so less practical. Yeah. Cuz he's like he's like a ball and it's like I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but it helps it helps out. later. Well, it helps later when he's doing the uh 
when like the the Millennium Falcons doing the barrel rolls, wherever he lands, he's landing. Yeah. You know, he's like more rolling. Yeah. Or I thought another so. droid I, would to be. To me, I, I like the design. And one thing I know, droid's fine. I don't have a problem with him or his yeah. his character. He I was not like too it was much. Sort of an upgrade from an R two. You know? Yeah, but I don't want an upgrade. I want R two D two. But I who is notice... m- missing from most of this movie, by the way? Yeah. But I uh, one thing that I thought was kind of a cool consideration was, uh, you know, like in all the lead up, all the pictures and stuff. I thought the BB-8 was going to be like the size of a volleyball. No, it's huge. But he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like a he's big like two and a half foot diameter. Well, basically, he's the same diameter as R two D two because he fits inside the, fits the socket. In the socket, yeah. So it that is, was one. There's like a continuity there that I th- I appreciate. You know what else I thought was kind of cool that he loads from the bottom of the X wing. Yeah. yeah, they never show. They only show one point when they bring a crane up to put R two in. into Luke's yeah. X wing. Yeah, they never show how like on Dagobah he gets up there. Mm. Well, he yeah. lifts out one time. Yeah, but I I like the idea yeah. that he goes underneath. That's sort of like no, the Naboo fighters idea. from Episode One. But, how they um, went up in there. Uh, yeah, she takes him to town. He does the whole R two. You know, right. sounds and yeah, cause, Oh, oh, yes. Miss Ray. This is the first instance of Ray can do anything. Right. Ray can language. talk to the droid. Yeah. We don't need C-3PO because she can speak it. Nobody yeah. else can, but Ray can because Ray is awesome. Yeah. She's an independent woman who don't need a man, and she can do That's everything. True. I mean, they might as well have just called her Mary Sue Solo. I mean, shit. Okay, but hold up. If, if this would have been another male character, would we be bitching about it? I don't think they would have written. A male character wouldn't have been this strong. They wouldn't have done it. Uh, Poe's not this like strong. Finn. Finn's not this strong. Yeah, exactly. They're writing it this way because she's female. Because And that, that annoys me. Hmm. I don't she? mind that she is a woman. I, 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 I'm annoyed well, that they play her up as the greatest thing ever because she's a woman. Let's be honest, this movie does have a lot of, okay, here's a list of all we have to have. Okay, we got we got a black pilot, we got a female pilot, we got <laughs> Poe's more, uh, what'd you say was, Poe was more... Like, he's like um, Andorra, yeah, he's like South know, American or something. South American, But okay, the actor, I think, that. is from... Yeah. Okay. So they've got the whole, so yeah, this is a, this, you know, we got the strong female character. But, well, that's kind of a, what, uh, I don't know, that's... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I mean, because like, mean, Prin- like Princess Leia is a strong female. Uh, I was just yeah, about to get to that. To say that. But like, she can't do everything. Right. She yeah. can't rescue well, herself yeah. from the Death Star. That's true. If Rey had been in there, she would have Jedi Force tricked the, the guards to let her out. Yeah. She would have broke out. She would have knocked Darth Vader down a, 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 a shaft. She would have ran in there, stole a TIE fighter, and flew away. Right. Was, Nobody she, needs to save Ray because Ray can do it on her own. That's true. Yeah, and she was on her way to do that. The team dynamic. Yeah, that's it's because yeah, yeah. And she does basically do what I just said yeah. later in this movie. Yeah, right. And yeah, the fact that they like bump into her is just and she's escaping. Yeah, they don't help any. Yeah, they're her ride. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and during all this, uh, the. FN, uh, the stormtrooper that yeah, will Finn, be Finn. He will be Finn. Uh, rescues yeah. Poe to help him get off. On he the, needs a yeah. pilot. Right. Because Ma- Kylo's torturing him, gets the information that the droid is on the planet. No fucking duh, Kylo. <laughs> yeah. Now, what gets me is I, the, the character Finn. Now, this is a galaxy far, far away. And I understand oh, yeah. Poe and Finn has got some comedy relief. I almost feel they could have put Chris Rock in. Oh, come the fuck on, man! Oh, I would have loved it better. Like, Had it been Chris shit. Rock? You know, it's like... Yeah, Yo, Chris, Chris Rock. Oh, that would have been of. great! You know... Po, 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 I don't know how to do this, Poe. How do I do this, Poe? <laughs> you know, it's He flipped like, that oh. switch and now he's like, Ah! I'm shooting, Poe! <laughs> yeah, you know, that it's... It's that like you, so could, awesome. you could take Finn out of this movie and put him in Boys in the Hood and he'd blend in. Yeah, just the way he talks and his manner is like son of. A well, see, John bitch. Boyega, he's actually British. Yeah, so I think he thing. was like, they're like, can you do American accent? Sure, American <laughs> accent, American accent. <laughs> Yo, boy, what's yeah, up? Yeah. I mean, it's like you son know. of a bitch. But so he gets Poe out. They still a Tie Fighter. Which is kind of cool to see the inside of a Tie Fighter. I kind of like see, that. Yeah. Was it, now, is that new? The two seater. Yeah, it's new. Okay, they the two seater. Because you two. see the inside of Tie Fighters but with it's pilots the in pilot. it. Pilot, yeah. Yeah, this is a new thing. This two seater Tie, which that would be really well, cramped. Well, wasn't there a second? Yeah. What was the one with the two? 
Oh, that was a Thai bomber. Oh, a Thai bomber. Okay, so bombs on one side and a four. Yeah, that was actually okay. a two-seater, too. You had a yeah, pilot. A closer to that. Okay. Yo, oh, sorry. I thought I was being loud that. enough that you'd hear but, me. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. So, technically, they built this just so Poe and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, like, cramped in together. <laughs> this is, like... Right, because they couldn't each fly one... Uh, separately. They did explain it well. I mean, it had the gunner, and it had the cool retro 70s gunner station in yeah. the back, which was really neat. And I actually like this whole sequence with them flying and shooting shit, and it's, <laughs> it's plugged oh, yeah. in. Actually, they couldn't get out. Yeah. I actually kind of like this part, <laughs> except was, way too much CGI, yeah. but I kind of liked it. Yeah, I liked, uh, like you said, the kind of the retro, even like the computer screens, it was still kind of like wireframe. Oh, yeah. You know, no, like, there's really been good. no technical advancement in 30 years. <laughs> Well, they're still flying X-Wings. They just, like, changed the design a little they're, bit. They're targeting computer. <laughs> Looks like it's in, in 30 computer. years, they went from, like, the 1998 Corvette to the 2000 <laughs> Corvette. I mean, it's like, yeah. Ooh. You know, that's basically the yeah. TIE Fighters are a little different. The X-Wings are a little different. And that's yeah. it. I mean, even the Star Destroyer, a little different. But not really. Yeah. Yeah. So they get shot down, though. But that's whenever they get some camaraderie yeah. with Poe and Finn when they... And I, the, I, and it's sort of like he's trying to be funny. That's one thing I don't like. See, this is sad. You know who Finn is in this movie? Finn is Princess Leia. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Poe is Han Solo. Yes, that I was going to actually. Finn say is that. Princess That's Leia. The romance, like there, almost, there is you know. an online petition. Yeah. To make them more. All right, whatever. Yeah. I would, I would be, I would be fine with Finn ending up with Poe before Ray. I don't really <laughs> want him to be with Ray. It's like, uh, well, yeah. I mean, he gives him his jacket. You know, it's like his. Uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't really give that to him. Going steady, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. So the Tie Fighter crashes. They get shot down, and the Tie yeah. Fighter crashes, and then for inexplicably, the Tie Fighter sink. No, no. But Ray did say. Ray told BB-8, don't go that way. There's a sinking sand. You'll never make it across. You know what would have been better is if that monster that came out and looked at BB-8 then turned around and ate the TIE Fighter. Oh, that would have made sense. Yeah. Why? That's why it wasn't in here. Instead, we're just going to stick random shit in here for no reason and yeah. not explain it. Well, they got to explain why he didn't know that, you know. You know what? When a, in Star Wars, when a creature stuck its eyeball out of the out of the muck and looked around, guess what happened next? He tried to fucking eat Luke Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> Which we had another reference. We'll get to that later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, garbage shoot. Terrible. Trash terrible callback. To, I don't know why yeah. that shouldn't yeah. exist in a Star Wars movie. Uh, Finn Finn makes it to the the small town, the barter town. Bought a town. Who, ends up who drinking. Who barter town? Master Blaster. Blaster. Bought a town. Uh, ends up drinking out of a trough with a big pig thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which we see his butthole. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't notice that the I first time. Yeah, oh, I, I noticed. I was like, yeah. that thing has an asshole. <laughs> yeah. I did not see that. I half expected it to fart. Oh, yeah. It was so predominantly put uh, on screen, I expected it to go. Uh, Finn hears a commotion. He runs over, sees that Ray's getting uh, the Accosted. Master Blaster. Yeah, is, Master Blaster. Let's call him that. Yeah, has sent guys to get the droid. Because yeah. he wants the droid. He wants the right. droid. And he tried Who's to buy it off of her, but she wouldn't 60 sell it. 60 portions. Ooh. Yes. And we already know she Dinner can live off it. a quarter portion a day. So yeah, really. Like, which was pretty cool. But <laughs> yeah. it's like, like Insta bread. I don't get what this is. I actually, uh, that was, I love uh, that image. I don't know. There's something about that that was very satisfying. Yeah, yeah well, but I cool. just, I, it's another one of those Star Trek things. Yeah. It's like a Star Trek thing. It's like, let's focus on this awesome technology. You know what? They didn't show you how Aunt Beru made the blue milk. <laughs> so why do we care? We well, don't need to watch she, how the bread grows. That's she a just. Fair point. Milked a drew back. What the fuck? A do yeah. bag. Yeah. Do back. Do back. Yeah. I always wanted. I always thought it was Bantha that she had a Bantha that she milked out back. <laughs> anyway, so he runs up. Now here's another Ray. Right? He's oh, this girl's in trouble. Oh shit! And of course, Ray no, kicks her ass. She doesn't her need their help. She doesn't she need her help. Ass before he and then she kicks his ass. Right. Yeah. Because uh, that did occur to me. Like the first time, you know, I was just going with it. But the second time, I was kind of watching, paying more t attention to details, and you know, basically. Mm -hmm. Yo, she's chasing him with, like, murder in his her eyes. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, because the, the droid... Oh, because the droid fingered him. He's <laughs> like, he's got my... He's got Poe's jacket. Right, so she doesn't know who Poe is. All she knows is this guy stole some other guy's jacket. Yeah. yeah. And she's going to murder... She's, like, going to beat him to death for this. <laughs> like, I, that's... The, the motivation there was a little... Suspect. See, I think Ray should have been the dark side character. I believe it more. <laughs> right. But uh, she gets... She gets... Uh, Finn... Finn goes, oh no, I knew the guy. Oh, Sorry, he convinces dead. them he's part of the resist her, the yeah. part of the resistance. Yeah, and they got to get the droid to the resistance. You know, 
to Alderaan. I mean, I mean, yeah. whatever <laughs> fucking planet they got to go to. It's, it's... Yeah, which he doesn't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. He convinces the droid to be his buddy somehow. Uh, yeah. Actually, well, because... because uh, BB-8 is funny, but she it's very r yeah. She doesn't want to leave the planet. Oh, right. because so, her parents. Yeah. This is yeah. the no thing. Yeah. She's, she's marking the days. We saw her marking yeah. the days. So but, something uh, happened. Parents took off. They left her with somebody. You never see who. I'm guessing he died or they died or... Yeah, there's um, a lot of unanswered questions is another problem in a Star but, uh, Wars movie. You only need um, very few about uh, unanswered Master questions. Master Blaster did call in the First Order. Mm-hmm. You know, that droid you're looking for is here. They come swooping in. Finn's like, we got to get the hell out of here. TIE Fighters on the planet. So this is what I do like. TIE Fighters in the surface shooting, dive bombing a planet. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's something That's something we've never seen. It's Fair new. Sure. Of course. Uh, they, so they start running them. We need a ship. There's a ship. Finn goes, oh, what about this, this is, one over here? But they, wait, before okay. this, he tries to hold her hand twice, and both times she says, I don't want you holding my hand. Why are right. you doing that? Right, right. And it's like, oh, my gosh. Just yeah. take his hand. You're trying to escape with your lives. But uh, they're running toward the ship. She, he's like, hey, what about this one over here? No, that's junk. The first ship yeah, gets blown garbage. up. She goes, okay, garbage. What's 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 first thing Luke says? What a piece of junk. Yeah. Can't and it turns out to be the Millennium, the Millennium Falcon. Like Falcon. Yeah. You don't no. you don't diss the Falcon. Well, you don't diss the Falcon, joke. and you don't call Han Solo a bitch. It's a running <laughs> joke, you know. It's so they get on the Falcon uh, that has not flown in years, but yet can power up in five minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. less than that, well, 50, yeah, 60 seconds. Thinking. They've got no, this thing did ready they to fly. Say it hadn't flown in years. Or? Yeah, they did. Okay. Yeah. She said it hasn't flown in years. Okay. In fact, it's covered with a tarp at the yeah. time. Right. But of course, and of course. And I know technology hasn't changed, but if we set one of the kids, one of our kids, in front of thirty-year-old technology, they'd go, "How the hell do we work this?" Yeah. No one's going, "Okay, where's the flux capacitor? Where's it? No, wait, this is the old model. We've got a." Right, nope. Yeah. She goes in there. She knows exactly what to punch. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean Ray can fly a ship like a pro? Yeah, she. Oh, she can. And yeah, she knows uh, all the parts too. The yeah. compressor. Oh, on the, uh, that's wow! Really? Uh, now she has been taking thing. apart uh, star destroyers. Yes, I believe that she would know what the parts are. How does she know how to fly? You know what would have been. She read the manual. You know what? Star destroyer. You know what would have been more, made more <laughs> sense is if we had Poe Dameron here to fly the ship. Apparently who we've already wasn't... established is an expert pilot. Right. He yeah. can fly anything. He says. Yes. I know. He sure did seem to know a lot about the Tie Fighter. He said he always wanted to fly one. Yeah, so but see, he studied he knew up on everything him. about how to fly one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. you mean they established how he knew how to fly one? Oh, that's amazing because they didn't do that with Ray. Nope. Yeah. She just knew. They lived they on really a desert a planet her whole life, and yet she knows spacefaring vehicles. Uh, yeah. As far as we know, never left the and, planet. And not only I think she said she never left the planet. No. Didn't she say that? I and think not she came only from else. as a she, kid, not only yeah. can she get it off the ground, she can outfly. Imperial Imperial trained trained pilots. Okay, right. I think that they referred to that. Well, because, you know, there was that moment after they, you know, evaded them, you know, and and, uh, they are celebrating. And, you know, he's like, how did you do that? She's I don't know how I did. I don't know how, you know. Well, that's an explanation. That's fine. I don't know how. And then, okay, so, like, one of the next scenes, that's where, I mean, I'm kind of skipping ahead, but when the emperor or not the emperor the uh, oh, shit. supreme Let's, leader or whatever we're going to so, get there uh, we're going to get there uh he says uh something has been awakened in the force you know did you feel it i think that was her the force awakening in her she was using okay. it to fl- okay i'm going to i'm going uh, to i'm going to so shoot this down we're doing some anakin okay. we're doing anakin's uh, episode 1 no 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 a 5 year old can outmaneuver you know, professional pod racers. But he had pod raced before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, this kid can build a pod. He can build a, a, a droid. He can build, somehow He's, he can build okay. anything and everything. Here's the thing. It's that is That is the most powerful Jedi who has ever been born. And <laughs> Until he, Rey. He, exactly. He <laughs> couldn't do what Ray did. Yeah. He The reason he could build a pod is because he worked for a junk dealer. Okay, well, wait a minute. Does he not fly... A, uh, it's uh, on automatic pilot, and it's the yeah. stupidest shit I've oh, ever seen in my okay. life. Okay, I, I have armor. just as much problem with the fact <laughs> that he flew that ship as I do oh, that okay. Ray does what she does. It's stupid. The pod makes sense. He had raced pods okay. before, and he had wrecked pods before. He hmm. didn't go out and, like, I've never driven a pod before, jump in a pod, and win the Bunta Eve Challenge the very first yeah. time. Yeah. He wrecked every time. The first one he won was the one in Phantom Menace. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay? okay? So anyway, they get off planet. 
they get picked up by a huge ship. And again, again, beam. you know, if Poe was flying, you could have put Ray in one gun turret, <laughs> yeah. Ben in the other, and they could have shot the TIE fighters, and it would have been a lot more sense, no, no, but no. what do I know? So they, they get boarded, and it's Han and Chewie. Yeah, uh, they think it's the First Order, yes, but it's they, not. They oh, this is huge. when he, he gets... He gets BB-8 to tell her. Oh. No, this is one thing I did like with BB-8. Whenever he gave BB-8 the thumbs up and BB-8 put out, like, the lighter. I don't know why he has a lighter. Yeah, that's what I was I, say. Does Poe smoke a lot? I don't know. But, <laughs> you know, Poe wakes and bakes every day. <laughs> hey, but nice. he put it out like it's a thumbs up, and that was really funny. Okay, I <laughs> yeah. did like that. Mm. It was cute. There is humor a lot. But, yeah, it. so they think it's the First Order. Right. At least they didn't jump to hyperspace. If she'd known how to punch in stuff <laughs> exactly. into the Nava computer. Yeah. Yeah. Which but, doesn't really, actually, later they jump into hyperspace without even punching No, I know. But Han Solo did that. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, he can do that sort of shit. Uh, my, my theory is he just jumped a little ways. Oh. Yeah, it was a quick jump, yeah. Mm-hmm. From one system to the next. Although I do enough. wish he would say, like, Chewie, punch that into the Nava computer. That's all yeah. he had to do. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I wanted to go back just a moment to, like, the hand holding, uh, like oh, gosh. her yeah. and, and uh, Finn, like the dynamic there. I thought there there actually was there were some really good moments, like uh, character moments. I felt like in in here, uh, just like on the the faces of the actors. You know, I felt like there was uh, when the airstrike happens, they get blown out of the tent mm-hmm. area, and he's like laying there, she's laying there. I think he's out. He's yeah, and she I because th- he's the damsel in distress. Yes. But I think when he comes to, he asks her if she's okay. She's like, yeah, of course she, I am. You're the one who's not Yeah, but she has a moment. There's, like, kind of a look on her face, and it's like, you know, nobody has ever been concerned for her welfare and her Really? Life. That look looked to me like, quit being a whiny bitch and get up. Yeah, that's like, oh, the, that's that the look. That was the initial look, but then there was yeah, kind of okay. a on her for a second. All right. And yeah, I felt like there was, like, why now, let's would not get this wrong. I was okay? I like Daisy Ridley. I like yeah. how she acted this character. I like this character. But the problem is not it's how this what this character was written to yeah. do right. is yeah. the problem. Yeah. Okay, but anyway. I right, believe so. this as my Luke stand in. I'm yeah. fine with her as my Luke stand in. But Luke was like uh, Taji Station to get some power converters and it wasn't right. until like no, I'm learning the force. It exactly. wasn't until Obi Wan Kenobi actually. and that is another problem. No oh, Lord. <laughs> Luke Skywalker should have been introduced in Act 2 of this movie. Well, the whole point's still... If he had been introduced in Act 2 of this movie and started training Rey from that moment on, right. everything else she did in this movie would have made sense. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, that's the thing, because she is completely untrained. Well, we know that she can handle herself, she can fight, she has that stick. You know, that's a step. I didn't have a problem with her she... beating the shit out of guys with sticks. I have a problem yeah. with her fighting, fighting a... <laughs> A dark Jedi that was trained by Luke Skywalker himself. Right. Well, we'll get into that. Well, then. but well, I mean, do you think maybe she was one of his? Maybe she she was trained by as Padme. a child. I, she doesn't. Uh, so she she clearly doesn't residual, remember it. Right. Maybe right. it's but maybe, maybe like ingrained in her. Maybe, well, You're maybe, right. I'm glad maybe, they told us that that well, happened in this movie. Maybe in the next movie we find out that she was a Padawan, mm-hmm. and to protect her, Luke locked her memory. She has oh, no memory God. before. Can that happen? Is that a... Four or five years. Anything old. can happen. Apparently, yeah, you can just can, pull right? information out of people's heads. Yeah, at this really. Point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Darth. Could I, be... I got more like you squeezed his brain till he talked. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, they never showed right. Well, they did. Yeah, he was just like, and then he was like, the droid is on the planet. So I guess it it's did like, kind of yeah, show him like pulling information. We knew the droid out of can't it. fucking fly. So yeah, why right. would the droid be on, be on the planet? planet. Maybe. Well, maybe they didn't know he had a droid. No one saw it, so they... I guess. I don't them. know. So anyway, Han and Chewie show up. They you know what they never saw was the map. So how do they know that he's got the map? But whatever. Well, see, I want to know how... I guess because okay. Max von Sydow wouldn't give it to now, him. Now, hold so. up. Speaking of the map. Okay, there is a map to Luke Skywalker. That's the whole right. part of this. What BB-8 has is a portion of the map. Right. Oh, gosh, this is so stupid. Kylo Ren says, we have the rest of the map that we got from the remains of the Empire. Right. Luke didn't go missing. Or I guess it was to the, the, the temple. Yeah. Uh, so it's like, wait, what? what? I don't Man. know. It doesn't make a lot yeah, of sense. So first anyway. Jedi temple. Yeah, the first Jedi temple. Anyway. It, yeah, and well, and then there's like the, the yellow, orange line, like, there's jig the, jaggy, within the map. Yeah. And I guess, in according to wikis... Uh, people assume that maybe those are other Jedi temples, so that would be kind of so working its way back, like the yeah. oldest or the newest to the so oldest. So I guess they're just guessing where he is anyway. But yeah, the oldest known. Yeah. It's okay. So stupid. So Han Solo and Chewie show up. 
uh, turns out they're screwing people over. Like you know, and they, you get the whole yeah. Uh, okay, Harrison forth, Ford, survival. best part of this whole movie. <laughs> it, it, he pretty much strapped that blaster on. He's like, I'm Han Solo, yeah, and yeah. it was like, and that's how it was. And then there's Chewie. And that was magic. Now, here's the yeah. thing. Chewie was in Episode 3. Mm, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. He's in Star Wars Jedi or uh, Empire Jedi. Mm -hmm. So Chewie's got to be... Hundreds of years old. Well, he is guess. hundreds of years old. He's yeah. a Wookiee. Not, not a gray. Right. They didn't put any gray in I can't. I thought so for sure he was going to have gray. I yeah, at least a, a, a stripe or two. Yeah, that would have been funny. That, or that would have been cool. Now, I would have been do, fine with that. They did age. do a better makeup job. I don't know if it's CGI or makeup. But the eyes blended into the face. I think better. they look probably like a mask. part of it's a mask and part of it's they went back and touched it up with CGI. Yeah, yeah. so they did a real good so job. So it's though. it's good. It's yeah. Okay. I I have no complaints. They don't, I only have one complaint about Han Solo and Chewie, and that happens at the end of this movie. Yeah. But we'll get there. Uh, okay, I have one kind of general Chewie question. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the bandolier? What are those little metal boxes? Like, They're grenades. You never see him or use ammo. Him. I don't yeah. know. I always thought it was ammo for his oh. blast, like a like a recharge. So he just pack. plops it and jink. Okay. Yeah. And then also, everybody in this movie had like little loops on their shirts with metal like stuff in them, and that. That, I don't remember that. From Sometimes any other I think that a lot of that kind of stuff happened in the original, and they're like rank insignias and oh, things of that nature. Yeah, but they're like little tubes, you know. Yeah, no, like that's the like thing. They, they do show up stuff, in yeah. some uh, more yeah. in Imperials. Now than, this was but Hans. Han Solo's had them too. Yeah. Well, yeah, but well, this I don't was, know about Han Solo. This was Hans Besman outfit, wasn't it? Or no, it's a different jacket, but it's it's yeah. similar. The shirt and the yeah. jacket's very. It's very similar, similar to his Besman outfit. Okay. Or his Hoth, he actually wore it first on Hoth. It was the outfit he wore yeah. throughout all of Empire Strikes Back. He told Leia it was a new jacket, yeah. too. Yeah, well, that's what she's like, same old jacket. And he's yeah. like, mm, different jacket. But yeah. it's it's pretty much like he Someone's went and like, oh, damn, there. this one got a hole in it. Yeah, oh, no, this one's nice. It's the same jacket. Yeah, yeah but I like it. Yeah. yeah. No, that one's blue. This one's tan. I got a, I got a thing. <laughs> but uh, Han's got a... Deal, will and deal with these guys that show uh, up that he screwed them out of money. Okay. He's like, one of our told you, if I ever stood your own twice. Okay, that one time. What was the second time? <laughs> now, that was good. I didn't have a problem with that. It's when the second gang showed up. Yeah. That yeah. bothered me. Then when they released the monsters. Now, that was Star Trek monsters. Yeah, there, uh, That yeah, is not was. Star Wars. That was a Star Trek Why couldn't yeah, that have been that something that we knew? Or, or something that would have been... Once again, Ray has to, to save Finn from a monster. Of course she does, because Ray can do everything. So That was actually pretty Doctor Who, I thought. That that whole thing, the, through the ship, uh, like controlling the doors. Like, there's been at least two or three Doctor Who episodes very much like that. I think. Yeah, although, maybe it. not that it, like fast-paced. Although, do mark this down. Ray fucked up. It's the only time she's ever going to do it. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> did open the wrong doors. Yeah, she opened but the wrong doors. Yeah, it ended up open. saving them. Like, kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they all get on the Falcon. They make their getaway. He makes his jump to light speed within the hangar. Yes. Yeah, right. With a giant monster stuck on the windshield, which I did not like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind the jump to light speed within the hangar. Now, this is the first time you see outside the ship in light speed. Which usually, was cool. You, you oh, see yeah. that from the like the wind or the windshield and all the stars flying by. This is the first time you see them like in a almost like a Hoovian time yeah. tube. It was I did it like that. Yeah. I did like that. I I like that they showed the what it looked like with them yeah. flying through hyperspace. That yes. was really cool. And that's not the only cool hyperspace thing he does. And that's like, I know, funny. that's the problem with it. Oh. He should have saved that. He shouldn't have done it here. He should have, like, just escaped. And then they should have done it later. later. But they make it to the... Uh, oh, they do they it. Do it. They, they make it to the, the not indoor planet. It's Maz <laughs> Kanada's... Castle. No, and she right. makes the comment, I didn't know there was so much green in the entire universe. Right. She's a desert dweller. No, I was waiting oh. for her to jump in the lake. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, she <laughs> should have. She should have ran over and just start that put the water in her exciting. hands and was touching yeah. it. It should have been. She would never have seen a lake or, you know, a large body of water. It, no, yeah, she, she should have. Yeah. She should, and then she would have gone, I don't like sand. Of yeah. course, it gets everywhere. Yeah. Then we would have known who her. So, so they go to indoor. So um, they go to M Mos Eisley or the was, canteen. Yeah, they there go was to another <laughs> little reference though that I actually felt was a little too much mm -hmm. when they're taking off and Finn is digging through whatever he's digging through and he picks up the uh, the training or. Oh yeah, yes. no, yeah. yeah I was yeah. like, okay, so this has been through three owners. It's been thirty years. And they I'm haven't just stripped there, it yet. Yeah, like uh, now what I thought when they start walking through this temple. 
I'm looking, there's banners and whatever. I thought, oh shit, this is where they we got their medals at the end of yeah. Star Wars. Yavin, yeah, yeah. Thought, yeah Yavin. Now, see, my initial reaction was, holy shit, this is Luke. Han knows there's problems. He's going to get Luke. Yeah. Nope. But I, th I thought, well, that's crazy because the BB-8's got the fucking map, so why is Luke here? No, because yeah. that would have made sense. No map. <laughs> well, he didn't tell anybody where he went. Right. Which is and dumb. BB-8 only had a portion of the map. Well, he told R2, who shut down. Never mind, we'll get yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, and yeah. And do we want to take any time considerations? Or are we just going to roll? Do you guys want to? Let's just roll okay. until we get done. What time is it? It's eight oh. fifteen. Okay, we, we can, an hour we'll, we'll try to, Okay, so you're walking through this ancient temple to see this ancient being of wisdom. You open the door and it's the canteen. Yeah, it's most the canteen. Yeah. 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 Only not as good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is amazing considering the limitations <laughs> that they had in 1976 it's when they shot Star Wars. Wild. How this is not as good, but it's not. Nope. It's, in trying to be more exotic and crazier than that one, it makes it unrelatable. It, like it's yeah. so far out there. And they don't linger on anything. They did these right, little shots where they're like, look at all these crazy creatures. Yeah, yeah. Han Solo! And then when he yeah. stops. I love, okay, and this is where you're introduced to... Maz Kanata, I think is her name. Little Maz. short woman goes up to Han Edna. Solo. Edna. Yeah, Edna. Edna. She's Incredibles. technically Edna. Goes, where's my boyfriend? Yeah. <laughs> that was like my favorite part. I, I love that Wookiee. Yeah, <laughs> see, that just conjured up me going like, ew. Ew. <laughs> just to see that this Wookiee and this little creature. But, but you know, Chewie wasn't fast to get there. <laughs> yeah. Chewie took his time. Right. There. Oh, yeah. Oh, he right. never left the... Did he ever leave the... I mean, he shows up I don't later, remember if he came. But he's never in a scene with her. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I don't think he ever comes to the canteen. He's checking... He's working on the... The, yeah. the Falcon. Yeah. And uh, fixing all the shit Chewie, that they though, broke. Like his, his laser uh, crossbow. Like his bowcaster. Okay, yeah. and that's the same thing he's always had, yep. right? So, like, how did Han never notice that it, like, blows away? It does job? not make any sense. Yeah, that, but he's, well, he's like, never had to on, use man. it. He's always had his own blast. And that's that's another one of those things. Funny the first time he did it. Mm -hmm. Not funny the next three times he did it. Right, yeah. Should have done it once. That's it. When you do it once, you're done. Move on. Yeah. All right, so back okay. to the cantina. Right? Yeah. So this is when... Ben wants to run away. Yeah. This is, again, Finn's whole runaway. Yeah, he he's... tries to book passage to the Outer Rim, and he leaves. Because, yeah. you know, I'm sorry, and I understand the First Order's badasses, and, you know, once First Order, always First Order. I really don't see them tracking to the ends of the galaxy one Stormtrooper. But then again, this one this one Stormtrooper well, who Well, considering his present company. Yeah, right. this one Stormtrooper who couldn't pilot a damn TIE fighter happens that know all the weaknesses of the new yes, sequel yeah, weapon. Yeah, that's <laughs> convenient, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, but that, that's totally later. Well, uh, that's because we were like, oh, that's because they got to this point in the script, and they're like, oh, shit, how are we going to blow this thing up? Well, hey, I know Finn knows. Mm. Well, so, so they do the whole thing with the lady. Uh, Ray gets away from the the group. She's well, she's because because Maz talks to her about like you know you know I you know you know you know you want to go back to that planet that you already know what you're waiting for. It isn't there. It's ahead of you, not behind you. Right. She don't want to listen. She just wants to go back to yeah. Jakku. Right. And but, but, but she finds Luke's oh, original say like say. Let's get into this. Now here's right. the thing. She's she follows the screaming children. Yeah. Which is really not something you go toward. Yeah. She but, does. She's yeah, but maybe hero. she thinks there's kids trapped somewhere. Uh, that's what I thought, that Which Maz is, of had course, some child slaves in the basement or <clears throat> yeah, something. Yeah, me too. I thought it was going to be like a Temple of Doom thing. Yeah. You're going to have, like, children mining in the basement. But the thing is, it and reminds me of the meme where it shows uh, Obi-Wan giving Luke the lightsaber. Here, this is your father's lightsaber. He wanted you to have it. He killed 30 children with it. <laughs> you know? Speaking of that scene, how do we get this lightsaber exactly? You know what? Had Don't it, ask. Had it been the green That's a story one. story for another time. Man. Had it been the green one. You'd known Luke had been there and left his lightsaber. I could have bought it. The fact yes. that it's the blue one. The one that got fucking cut off on Bespin and fell now, down to now, the bottom of now, Cloud City. There was a hand, a dead rotting hand, hand attached to it. Do yeah. <laughs> I just take that off of there? Right. How did she get this? Don't ask. Or something like yeah, that. Well, and you know what? That's and exactly That's exactly what you said. How do they explain it in the movie? They don't. Right. Yes, they, they don't, don't like, explain. See the next movie. Maybe we'll tell you. If it was the green one, I would have said something happened. Luke yeah. lost this lightsaber somehow, and it ended up in her possession. 
But yeah. since it's that one, and we know what happened to that one, I have a real problem with this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, what about the whole flash vision, or not, force vision? Uh, now, this is kind of crazy, because you've never seen yeah. one of these. Yeah. Luke's had them, but we didn't see them. Right. Yeah, you heard them, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, like Yoda in the first couple. Mm -hmm. You never saw them, you heard And I don't them. like the fact that we saw it, but they mm -hmm. needed to get some information out. Yeah. yeah and this was how it. they were going to do it. That's the reason we got a flashback, but I don't, you don't see and force visions. Yeah, it wasn't exactly even a flashback. It was a mixture of like confusing well, images. If you guys notice that hallway, that's the hallway from Bespin where Luke fought Darth Vader. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then there also you hear Alec Guinness yeah. say Ray, mm -hmm. which they they chop some audio to make that happen. Right. Yeah. Right, Alec yeah. or Owen McGregor is in there. I don't know exactly what he says. Frank Oz is in there. Yoda. Yoda's in there. Yeah. Um. And it's kind of crazy, and it's this. A lot of this is like it's a mixture of stuff that happened to Luke and a mixture of stuff that happened to Ray. Yeah, which or what's makes going it, to happen to Ray. And, and it happened when she touched the lightsaber, yes. which makes me think she has a connection to Luke Skywalker. Right. Yes, I, I'd say definitely. And and we did. This is the only time we see the Knights of Ren. Yeah. Briefly. See, how does she see what happened to Luke on that planet? But I mean, how does she see Bespin? But she does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Luke wouldn't have had this lightsaber in yeah, during the Knights of Ren. Uh, no, not during scary. the Knights okay. of Ren. No, he so hasn't he seen this lightsaber. He may have found it after, you know, gone back I to the city. I bet that's that scene you uh, didn't see when him like, holy shit, where did you get right. this? And you know, he shows up and like, hey, Luke, uh, I found this. I thought hey, you one of my trash guys found this laying at the bottom <laughs> of the uh, shaft. I went back to Bespin. Bespin. And those little pig guys brought this to me. <laughs> And I said, damn it, where's my Colt 45? <laughs> and, uh, but, okay, and what else? It, it, well, and it showed, like, the forest. Didn't it, like, it showed the forest scene you that kinda, later came with Kylo Ren? That, that yeah, Kylo you Ren see the, the snow in the forest. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it was like. It was so she's seeing the future, stuff. which makes and sense. And the island, right? Did, or did, did she see the island? I think the she did. The water and the island? This, no. I, maybe not. I, maybe I she did. I don't remember. I've only seen it once. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. But this makes sense because Yoda said this vision, even though I don't agree with the fact that we saw it, we shouldn't have seen it, but we had to because they had to tell us stuff. Yeah. And since Luke's not here, like he should be, mm -hmm. they had to do it this way. Right. This makes sense, though. Um. That Luke, or Yoda said that you'd see the future, the yeah. past, old friends long gone. That's what she's seeing. Yeah, she's yeah. seeing the past. She's seeing her past. She's seeing Luke's past. She's seeing the future, mm -hmm. her future, yeah. and maybe Luke's future. So this, the the actual vision she sees makes sense. Right. So I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. I'm not okay with the lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> but I am okay with the vision. All right. Okay. All right. So about that. But then she the runs away. Order. Yeah, she won't right. take the lightsaber. Maz is like, you have yeah. to take this. Edna shows up. And Edna says, no, she, no caps. Yeah. Yeah. You take yeah. the lightsaber and no okay. caps. So she doesn't really like Lando's fashion sense. But I love it when, when Han sees it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Only Billy D can pull off caves. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, but I love Han's reaction. Where'd you get that? <laughs> Right. <laughs> because he recognizes it. He knows what it is. Yeah. Right. Oh, and supposedly, I read this online, too, the box that it's in That's is Obi -Wan the original Ken box. Yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi's box, Obi which, how the fuck did we get that? Yeah. That's on Tatooine. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that was just like Again, an inside joke reference thing. Uh, more sense if that was set on Tatooine and we met Luke. Would have made sense. Well, Whatever. Right. Oh, well. Okay. But she, okay, so she runs but off then, into the forest. But here's the deal. Would Han, okay, Han knows what it is. Oh. But he he held it. He's wielded that lightsaber really? before. Really? Yeah. In the Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, he opened up the Tauntaun. He knows oh, what it is. Yeah, He's seen it before. He saw it but, plenty. But the thing is, would have Luke went back and explained, because by the time Luke lost it, Han was frozen. Mm -hmm. By the time Han was thawed out, he had a green. So they'd just say, hey, kid, what happened to the blue one? Probably. You know, and just, I guess, filled in. But okay, about that time. Or maybe he never told him. It yeah. doesn't matter. Ray takes Han off was, into the woods. I would eight follows her. And you know how I lost my hand. The yeah. lightsaber is kind of part of. You know, thing, I yeah. and you know I would have said, well, he saw the green one at the sail barge, but no, he was blind. Like, he didn't see any of that yeah. shit. I'd yeah. have been like, you didn't see how awesome I was. <laughs> sure, kid. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're great. But, I kicked um, everybody's ass. Oh, oh yeah, when they got off the uh, when they got off the Millennium Falcon here, at, not indoor. Uh, not Han, indoor. Han hands her a blaster. Oh right. Which is for some reason white. 
Yeah, and it looks like, yeah. Goes, you know how to use one of these things? She goes, yeah, you like point and pull the trigger. Oh, there's this bothered me that. again. These guns look like Star Trek guns. They yeah. don't look like Star Wars guns. The only Star Wars guns are the ones that are legacy guns, yeah. like Han Solo's blaster, Chewie's bowcaster. Any new weapon that gets handed out looks like some reject from the Star Trek film. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she's got this on her. Uh, the uh, First Order shows up, starts blowing the shit out of right. everything. Right. Meanwhile, she's run into the forest. Forest, yeah, to get away from it all. And Finn because someone wanted her to hold a lightsaber. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Finn is starting to go off with these freighters or whatever, these these uh, people to, that are going to get him. But of course, first, first Order shows up. Yeah, yes. First Order shows up. Bomb in the place. Starts bombing the shit out of the place. This is when Chewie loans Han his, his crossbow. Yeah, during this fight. Yeah, yeah. It's also when Finn breaks out. Because Maz gives Finn the lightsaber. Right. Yeah. Take He's like, you got to take this to Ray, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But instead, he uses it to try to fight some people. Right. Yeah. Well, he's, he doesn't well, do he that. He I runs need a the weapon. First guy. And she's like, you have a weapon. Even though Han gave him a gun ten minutes earlier. That's yeah. true. What happened to that gun? He's like, here, here's your gun back, and he's like, yeah, keep, keep it. Keep it, and then it's gone. Oh yeah. no! Because we needed cool Finn to use a lightsaber. Yeah. So that it would be a misdirection for us to put in the trailer, so we wouldn't think that Ray was who we all knew Ray was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay. See, it's not about the story; it's about yeah. misdirecting you, so you won't guess. Right. Yeah. Now they are. Oh, calling... this is also Starkiller Base happens here. They fire oh, Starkiller they... Base. Right. They reveal yes. that Death Star. Death Star. Three point yeah, yeah. Now, see, the thing is with this, it's almost like okay, we're halfway through the movie. Oh shit! Yeah, we need a big bad in this again. So, like this is on. almost an afterthought that they that this thing and this they don't even have to be in this. I I like that the the Death Star actually had to be in position. This one's like, hey, there's there's like a a, a planet like three systems away. <laughs> yeah, shoot the mega laser at it. Yeah, no yeah, they shit. never explain that. Mega and let's not even. Okay, it's a planet. That's been with, hollowed with, out. With, that's been hollowed out. It has trees and shit growing on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The way this thing charges is it sucks the sun dry. Mm-hmm. Do we not understand how physics work? If you suck the sun dry, everything freezes and you fly out of orbit. Yeah. Well, you know. Well, oh, I'm well, sure. Yeah, the well, I'm sure they've got thrusters. Yeah, because they got to move it to a new. Sun. But yeah. it's a planet. It's yeah. the Death Star makes sense. It is a man-made construction. It yeah. is a giant starship. It has a hyperdrive. So you see that blue tunnel, the Millennium Falcons? There's a point when the Death Star is flying through that. But That thing, happens. Well, but the thing is, to me... No, now you got blown and up. I got where you're, how does it move? Mine is, okay, it sucked the sun dry. How is there any living plant life on that? Exactly. Dry? It would have well, killed everything on that planet. Well, then they moved to it. Well, and, okay, this is something that I... It doesn't matter. It would have died time. between the moving. Well, and not only that, it would have died almost instantly when that sun was gone. Maybe they they warm everything from the, the inside core. out. Oh, you could but say the sun's the energy hell? is on the inside. But I guess That's it's right. got to be shielded as shit for the whole planet. Oh They'll shit! Now nah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. The it makes no sense. Okay, it's the dumbest thing in the world. Anyway, I was right. mad whenever they had a second Death Star in Return of the Jedi. Right. But because the first one clearly blew up. The first one. So like, they. Oh, we built another blew. one. But this is bull. Yeah. Talk about yeah. not moving on in thirty years. Yeah. Let's just do the same thing, but bigger. Oh, yeah, and also, how does that... Well, I don't know. I guess maybe the laser blast doesn't have any mass somehow. I don't know. Because that would, like, shoot the planet in the opposite direction. <laughs> you would think, yeah, no, it would push the planet out of there's position. No, there's no thrusters you know, yeah. going that, yeah, pushing right. forward. But, yeah, one thing that I thought... Uh, I noticed, and they shot the that thing when those, when all the stormtroopers were standing on the surface. Yeah. They would have incinerated yeah. <laughs> them. Right? They showed the shock waves going and like tearing all the trees. That like, would have yeah. killed every single person. Yeah. Let's not no, even. No, okay, no, no. You didn't mention that. The shock wave of their blast killed all the trees nearby. Yeah. So have they never fired this thing off before? <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Because like, the trees were there. Yeah, but okay. Proof of Let's even on. say these people during. Uh, General Hutch, Hux's big speech, yeah. who's this guy who keeps talking, you know, smack to Kylo Ren and he does nothing to him. He's, yeah, yeah, Hitler. He's, yeah. He's, um, he's, and he's also pink from the wall. Like, yeah. He got that vibe. Like. So, even if you were at a safe distance where you wouldn't be instantly incinerated by the heat, you are getting doused with so much radiation. <laughs> Every trooper there is sterile and has cancer instantly. Yeah, well, you know, that's what they signed on for, man. Yep. 
Well, I mean, Why not? I don't know. Happen, how about let's just not make it a planet? And how about let's just not have everybody on the surface when we shoot the stupid <laughs> fucking gun? It was a display of power. They all you know, yeah. needed to see it. Uh, but, but yeah, one thing I, I thought that I noticed the second time, but I think I was getting the not... Uh, what is it? Not indoor or not? Uh, yeah, whatever. Mask it out is playing it. Uh, it's yeah, giving me an thinking, Alderaan vibe, actually. Yeah, I, I was thinking it started out like it was like forest. It wasn't all like winter planet, but maybe it was from the start too. I don't know. But I was thinking oh, Star that Killer was like, Base. Yeah, I was thinking that, that was a cool detail, but I might have been misremembering it because I was thinking as they sucked the life out of the sun, it became like a winter planet. And Maybe that yeah. would have been a pretty cool effect, like, like yeah. a little, like a consideration. It that they created that a nuclear winter, basically, yeah. by removing. The well, that would have been. It's a good thing they told us that. Oh. Right. I don't know. I thought I. Recognized it's a good that thing detail, that there was. I'm not sure if I just that there was that a thing where a guy said this used to be a lush in the world, and look what we've done to it. And he's like, "Yes, but it's for the greater good of the first order." You yeah. No, then that would have made sense. Are but we, no. Are we the bad guys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, that's what Finn thought that first time on that planet. Wait a fucking minute. We're right. just slaughtering people. Um, back on not indoor. Not indoor. We, we get the, because like I said, in the crawl, it made it sound like the first order was put together to hunt down Luke Skywalker. That, yeah, a special, like a special ops team. Well, this whatever, I, I think these black TIE fighter guys are the ones that are. Okay. Well, this is the first time we see weaponry de- uh, designed to take on a Jedi. A stormtrooper shows up, wow. whips out his deal. Yeah, his uh, weapon. His weapon. Now, here's the thing. It, yeah, let's, let's hold specify. Up. It, says, it says, okay, this is a meme. It says, gets wrecked by Han Solo in one hit. Contributes next to nothing to the Empire. Has one moment of glory. Explosive and inexplicable, and inexplicable popularity. It shows a picture of Boba Fett and this stormtrooper. Yeah. <laughs> Which again, this should this have been. Guy, this is the guy who's traitor. This and should have like been a meme everywhere. Captain Phasma. It really should yeah, have been. It should have been. Yeah. And did we gloss over Supreme Leader Voldemort? Yeah. Oh, we forgot. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's fucking Voldemort. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Voldemort yeah. plus Smeagol. And, yeah, and for, he's uh, yeah. Well, it's Andy Serkis. Yeah, it, yeah. It's like a gigantic guy on a chair, and he's all, it's all CGI. Ho- but, he, but here's a little hologram. Yes. I get I get a feeling you guys remember Mr. Big from Rocky and Bullwinkle? Not really. Okay, I'm getting a Wizard of Oz. Pay okay. no attention to that man yeah, behind the camera. Okay, yeah. Mr. Big, and what it was was uh, uh, Boris and Natasha would go to talk to Mr. Big, their boss. Yeah. And all you'd ever see is this huge shadow of Mr. Big. Yeah. And it turns out he's a little bitty guy. Yeah. That's and that's what, what I'm, I'm getting a feeling. Too. It's this huge hologram. He's going to be like Yoda sized. Right. <laughs> you know what I would have rather doing. had? I would have rather had them walk in and he's just got his chair turned to the back and you just see one metal glove yeah. and he, he's like, get gadgets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You just reminded me, actually. I, um, when Kylo Ren is given the news that they escaped the planet, he says, what girl? Like he knows there's some girl yeah, there the, with yeah, special the, powers or something, right? Like there seems well, like yeah, I know. stormtrooper or whatever escaped with the droid and and, 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 and a girl with the girl. Yeah, he the thing he focused on was what girl, you know, like. But then later it's like, well, eh, she is know the her. most powerful yeah. person who yeah, is completely yeah, infallible yeah, in the universe. Most, most if we could powerful. control the pure Mary Sue-ness of Ray, <laughs> we would be able to control the galaxy. Yeah, she could still be turned. Now, yeah, it's still early. What what got me with that is also with the Ren, uh, Ren Kylo or whatever. Kylo is, Ren. is he lashes out? He throws tantrums. Yeah, right. Now to me, I was telling like that. a bitch. <laughs> I see. Well, because you were talking about the dark side and hatred and evil, right. and I'm waiting for it's like Darth Vader. You'd expect him to go off on a fucking, and he does. Right. He chokes people, right? And it would make more sense. It's almost like uh, there's a, a commercial where they're at a meeting and the guy thinks he hits the mute button. It'd be one thing if Darth Vader. Someone says something about the Jedi Order, and Darth Vader hits a button. And it's supposed to mute his helmet. He's like, "Listen, motherfucker!" And he yeah. just said, uh, "Vader, we can hear you." Oh, sorry, wrong button. <laughs> you right. know, instead of just you, you, you think he's just sitting there listening to all this shit, and he's just ranting and raving in his helmet. Yeah. Well, see, I always <laughs> took it. This is the comparison. Like uh, Kylo Ren is a guy that's like, "I don't want to do my own work." So he's like Anakin and Darth yeah. Vader. <laughs> he's a yeah, Anakin. which is sad. Yeah. <laughs> and Darth Vader's like the guy, he's like, you know, the mob boss. At the yeah. t- and somebody's like, 
No, you can't do that, Godfather. I'm not going to let you put on my territory. And he's like, oh, that's unfortunate. And he gets the bat, <laughs> and he walks over there and beats the shit out of him. Right. That's the kind of dark side Darth Vader but, but is. But we right. do learn that Kylo Ren has not finished his training. Right. That's why he's not Darth, yeah. whatever. And he is. Well, and also because well, do we know if anymore. Supreme Leader Snook, which Snow. I think is... Was it Snook or Snow? I, it's Snook. Snook. Isn't that Snook? what they put up Hillary Clinton in that South Park episode? Wasn't it a Snook? Oh. It was a nuke in her snooch. Oh. Mm. I don't know, but I can't take that name seriously. Snook? Snoke? Snoke, yeah, Snoke. something like that. It's Lord Voldemort. No. Whatever. Yeah. Since mess or Star is, Wars is guy he a, Is he a Sith? I don't know. Well, see, that's well he's thing. trained him. Because, like, somebody at one point says, I've seen Sith, I've seen the Empire, and now it's the New Order, or something like that. And, and Maz something. says yeah, that. Maz yeah. says that, yeah. And uh, so, like, like, basically, she's, I don't know, like... Do the Sith I've, even I've, exist anymore? Like, I don't know. Is, well, like, and that's my question. Been, There's only two. There's supposed to be master and student. Now, is that oh, the, are those ranks? Like, like everyone else is like a, a green belt, mm -hmm. and master and students like the black belts. Well, yeah. there's and, always and a, as soon as one gets killed off, another there's one comes a rule. Out. There's a rule of two with the Sith. But right. that kind of backfires because if and they both his apprentice both died, in, then you're fucked. You know, <laughs> the, the the, does the dark side then pick someone else? To okay, endow, there, and, 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 I have my own thoughts on things. I hope that Lord Voldemort isn't. Yeah, that might be. And then I've heard another thing. But I'm gonna lay this out. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping here's, he's here's what I hope he isn't. Okay, a clone of the Emperor, uh, a clone of Anakin Skywalker. Which would explain why Kylo Ren is so loyal to him. Yeah. And I've also heard that he is Darth Pelagius, which is the Sith Master who trained the Emperor okay. in the, the pre so Oh, the one who could control life. The Midichlorians. But the Emperor Palpatine said he killed him in his sleep. So. Right. Yeah. So... So I don't find that one to be well, likely. He does have a massive head wound. Maybe he just didn't die from it. Yeah. Because he control life. He can, like, I want to think that he smothered him life. with a pillow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, but see, it's like, that, but I'm wondering, is the Sith like the quickening, like Highlander, like you have yes, to kill your master to become? You know, it's sort of that way. So, but powers. so this is the four, the 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 first order. They take everybody prisoner. Yeah. Kylo Ren captures Rey. Yeah. He does his little mind thingy, and he's like, "She's seen the map. We don't need the the droid. Take her." And yeah. so he just, you know, knocks her out. He Vulcan death grips her, yeah. or yeah. puts a Vulcan her. sleeper pinch hold on her, yeah. and takes her away. And so this is when Finn oh, sees her getting carried away. Mm -hmm. I thought this that scene where he approaches her, they're in the forest, they're going through like the little narrow, like you know, rocky outcropping thing, mm -hmm. and uh, it is. Uh, it, I think it almost even seemed like the same music, and it kind of almost like slowed down. It was like it's Luke not a good going, score. It was Luke going into the cave uh, on Dagobah, like it was like that moment. Where he faces Darth Vader, you know? I kind of got that vibe too. Yeah, I got like yeah, they were trying to hit that. I, that she was gonna, but she didn't really face him. She shot yeah, at him. She a few ran times away, and... like she like ran up on the hill, and he just yeah, gra ca captured. Her. Yeah, but, I mean it's... she was outmatched, of course. But I so mean, she, she yeah, killed, so or... she got captured, and everybody else got captured too. But then Poe Dameron shows up with know, the where... rest of the Resistance and their X-wing fighters. Yep. Coming in low. Right, and this is crazy because he comes in in his X-Wing fighter. Han Solo and Chewbacca have their hands up. They're surrounded yeah. by stormtroopers. <laughs> he picks them off, right, the right. stormtroopers, in an X-Wing. Oh, yeah. No, he's from the sky. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shooting all around them. Yeah. Oh, and he's doing loops. And, and yeah. I can't. And, like, and then, of course, like as if we haven't displayed that enough, Finn's like, that's the greatest pilot i ever seen. Right. Now, watch, watch Poe was a Padawan. Which, that's why he's so good. With which, the... you know, we would have had plenty of time to prove that he was the greatest pilot he's ever seen had he done all that shit Ray did back <laughs> on Jakku. Yeah. We wouldn't have had to have told us that. We would have already seen it. Yeah. So they come in, the, the Resistance, First Order retreats. Yep. Mm -hmm. They got what they oh. needed. Uh, one thing I wanted to also say when we're talking about the uh, traitor, uh, the lightsaber, yeah. anti lightsaber weapon. Yeah. Um, I thought I, that that didn't really register with me the first time I saw it. Well, I mean, like you know, the whole thing. At the, I mean, this is jumping to the end. Uh, you know, the fact that Finn can like m match up with apparently the only other person in the galaxy that can fight with a lightsaber. 
we'll, uh, but we'll apparently he, he did have some anti lightsaber training, so that does kind of maybe account yeah. for that. Like when I walked out, that was one of my main complaints was how can these two people that have never handled a lightsaber before like they fight shouldn't. a guy who uh, well, should be and, the best living and we'll lightsaber cover fighter that. aside from Luke Skywalker. But this, okay, but, so the Resistance show up, the main ship lands, there's Leia coming off the ship. Yeah. Leia and Han get close. They look at each other, and before they can say anything, here's C-3PO in the middle. Yeah, hey, right. Now, hey. now, I yeah. saw this in 3D. Oh. In your oh. guys' thing, were those little things on his neck sticking straight up? <laughs> he, he, well, I, don't I didn't remember. notice it. I didn't. It was in that. 3D. I don't know if somebody, when they were doing the 3D thing, <laughs> just really is like, no, those things need to stick up. Yeah. And they, no, they made it to where they... I'm like, those aren't sticking up in the original. They were down. No, no, no. Well, let, let's get this theory. Why do you think he has a red arm? I don't care. I yeah, think it's just to sell toys. Yeah. Everyone's well, got a solid gold C-3PO. Now right. we've got to do one with one red yeah, arm. But what I love, he, what I love is he's like, oh, Captain Solo, you may not recognize me because I have this red arm. You didn't right. need to point it out. We no, all know yeah, you have a red arm. Right. He that never pointed out any of the other shit. Right. That the was only why he had a red arm, to make that joke. The yeah. only time that they ever pointed out what C-3PO's appearance was like was like, was like, Oh my goodness gracious! I'm naked, you know. In episode one, that was it. Or you, you, oh, if you put my head on backwards, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which was again obvious. Yeah. But here's what I've noticed now: C-3PO is really annoying if he doesn't have R2D2 to play <laughs> off of. Yeah. That's why BB-8, sir. See, that's what mm. I was worried about. I was worried about that something happened to R2, and BB-8 was to be the new R2. Right. It's like, oh, well, he kind of is. Kind of. Well, yeah, yeah, for a little while. Right. We also, uh, or I don't know, I was going to say we skipped over something. What did we skip over? Uh, Kylo Ren, like, praying to his Oh, the Darth Vader skull? Yeah. yeah, and we also, they also, like, laid the breadcrumbs, which, you know, uh, the one guy said, or the, the Snoke said, uh, your father has a, is involved or whatever. Yeah, they reveal, they reveal then, way too early. Kylo yes. Ren's yeah. real right. And then when identity. he's talking to Darth Vader's helmet, he says grandfather. So we know Leia and Han Solo like are his parents. Like, yeah, they like reveal that before. Yeah, I know. Yeah, my and wife it's too actually, early. Yeah. When he leans over and says your father, and he says something like Han Solo, my wife leans over and goes, who was the mother? Look, oh, what the shit? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> my wife, I'm telling you, when, when she saw Carrie Fisher, she nearly cried. Because Carrie Fisher looks so old. Uh, now, um, now, she did lose weight. I mean, she doesn't look like Rosie O'Donnell anymore. <laughs> Carrie, Carrie Fisher. Everybody is going, oh, Carrie Fisher's so lovely. And she was amazing in this role. No, she, she got, she's, wasn't. She's got smoker voice. No, she, she wasn't. She was like this. <laughs> she barely acted. And her 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 performance was as unmoving as her face. Yeah, I noticed that. Her, she seemed like her her lips. Nothing moved like except her mouth. <laughs> right. I'm like, and holy shit! Didn't really like and then or anything. she's like, Han, been a long time since we've seen each other. She's <laughs> like, oh, you're just as beautiful as ever, princess. Do you really think so? <laughs> Might as well get, like, one she of the... wasn't a princess. She was a general. Yeah. Whatever. And I yeah, didn't know her name was Organa. Either. Yeah, yeah, Princess Leia Organa. Yeah. Organa. Like in the in the crawl, like I, it like took me. She a was moment. adopted by it. Senator Bail right. Organa, which I didn't know. And, I didn't remember that until I watched. And, the and you can't again. be a, a princess of a blown up planet. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 She's no longer. But she's. Yeah. But, yeah uh, whatever. But yeah, and and like you said, they. I don't see. Han Solo being one of those guys go, oh, my kid ran away, oh, well. You know, yeah, like, no, I don't yeah. either. You know, or Leia, you know, saying, oh, well. He, well, they were like, they did, he's like, yeah. well, I went back to what I knew best, and she's like, so did yeah. I. And right, well, like, and they both said they let him go or, or, or sent him away. Well, they sent him like away that. to be with Luke, because and everything went to well, shit. Well, he's force-sensitive. So yeah. Why Luke didn't train Leia, I have no yeah, idea. Why isn't Leia a Jedi? Jedi? It makes no sense. Yeah. I totally expected her. To Other than they were like, we can't ask Carrie Fisher to do this. She can't do this. Because yeah. yeah. it even says in the in the trailer, the force is strong in my family. I my yeah. father had it. I have it. My well, that's right out of Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They like re-recorded that for the trailer. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it would be good to see Carrie Fisher do something yeah. force related. Well, she kind of does later. <clears throat> she kind of does, but well, it's she not. Feels, she, feels she feels something. Yeah, right. she feels something. Yeah, that's but, true. But, but 
yeah, actually, they could do. It could be like, mm. oh yeah, I'm gonna make a Quigley Down Under reference. <laughs> oh, you know, shit. Like pull out, you know, at the end, you know, all through the movie, people are trying to hand him pistols. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this movie. Tom Selleck. Yeah, no, I he's, know. He's, yeah, he's basically, he's got this uh, Long rifle. sniper. Yeah. yeah, he's like a super badass. He can shoot anything at 600 yards or whatever. And all through the movie, people are handing him pistols. He's like, I don't have much use for pistols. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, he like outdraws the super fast gun. He's like, I thought you couldn't shoot a pistol. And he's like, I said I didn't have much use for it. <laughs> you know, so that's like her. Yeah. She's going to like force grab something and mm -hmm. save the day. Yeah, you know, yeah. didn't, like, so I didn't know how to use it. I yeah, just, this is also the the um, this is the scene where they're like, "Uh oh, hey, Star Killer Base, yeah. here it is," and they're like, and, they're, and then they they really drive this home. They're like, "This is the Death Star, whoop!" Yeah, and then yeah. they're like, "This is Star Killer Base," and it's like, "Womp!" and it's huge. But, and like Han Solo's like, "So what? It's bigger." And I'm like, "Yeah, fucking Han Solo, what the fuck does it matter? It's right. bigger. We could still blow it up, right? That works." Uh, yeah. And Without a plan this, this time, apparently we don't yeah, need any reason. that's the thing. They've done this two times now. Yeah. It's almost like, hey, uh, they've got another like moon base thing. Well, let's just get some guys together. We'll blow shit up. Go it. blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's got a weakness someplace. Let's, let's just start shooting well, shit until we find one. Like maybe they should catch on to this thing, like, and kind of maybe watch what they're doing, like when they're building giant, like, yeah. Okay. The first one. Guns. The the first one they had what two meters long tube that went down to the core. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second one. They made it big diameter. enough that it's like, yeah, we, we, we fixed that problem. Now you can get a Millennium Falcon in there. In, in the Empire's <laughs> defense, still under construction. Still under construction. Right. They yeah. needed to like, get ships okay. inside of it okay. to move the materials. The third one, they just put it right on top of the fucking... Yeah, yeah. it's like... <laughs> it's there like, it is. Here's the firing apparatus, and you see this long, gigantic <laughs> wire that goes to this very important building that's sitting right here? This this right here might have something to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Might as well just paint a big head bullseye. They had no plan. They had no plan. They were well, like, well, was shielded. We got to get in there and turn the shield. You mean they had to get to a planet and <laughs> do, turn a deflector <laughs> shield off so that the ships could get through? I wonder where I've heard that before. <laughs> Seems familiar. I, I can't, uh, <laughs> can't place it. Maybe that's like the whole freaking in last act of Return of the Jedi? <laughs> yeah. No, this is where, where the were the Ewoks though. I was disappointed. Yeah. I was the, the white polar bear like. Ewoks. Yeah, I would have loved it right. like a bunch of wampas come out of there and then, <laughs> yup yup and just start kicking ass. <laughs> yup yup, yeah. But then at the end they blew their planet up, so I feel like all oh, <laughs> were fucking wampas. <laughs> That this was the second hyperdrive trick that Han Solo did. Because yeah. he what it is is they had reflector shields that could Defle stop yeah. stop anything yeah. short of light. So they had to come out of light speed right at the point. Now wait surfing. a minute. So yeah. this is wait, we've skipped over the fact okay. that that, Finn, that Kylo Ray tries to do the whole trick. Greeting. To get she, the, fa she fights him, and right. then she like fights back and, and reads, his, reads mind. his mind. No. Yeah. Oh, What's and then he takes off his. She's like, oh, what's under the mask? He takes off his mask. And it looks like a young service Snape from Harry Potter. Yeah. I'm like, that's fucking Snape. Yeah. No, here's the deal. Once again, she should have woke up, and he was just standing there over, just staring her down. Right. No, he's sitting in the he's corner like with this. Crouching. Yeah, yeah, crouching. Just, again, yeah. Doo, 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 that's his doo, thing. Doo. Yeah. I was just thinking about how much my life sucked. Yeah. Well, I mean, Man, I'll never be as good as Vader. Right. That's his character, basically. Uh, you know? Oh, they did do a good... Oh, yeah, we haven't got that point yet. Uh... But yeah, he tries the forcing. It doesn't work. She reflects it back. Mm -hmm. You know, she says, "You're scared. You'll never be as good as Vader. You'll never." Live I'm up. surprised he didn't walk off to his room and start cutting himself with a little <laughs> lightsaber. Right, yeah. He just pull out a little lightsaber and just start <laughs> slitting on his arm. He's like, "This is better than the emotional pain I'm feeling." Uh, goes to goes to talk to Big Daddy Snoke or whatever. Yes, Snoke. With now he now that his helmet's come off, he leaves it off. And I'm like, please, for the love of God, put that <laughs> helmet back right. on. The, yeah, the, no wonder nobody respects. The, that's an amazing set of hair, though, on that yeah. guy. Yeah, the Nazi shows up and just gives him shit again in front oh, of the Oh, God, yeah. Right. Oh, this asshole said we didn't need the girl. <laughs> yeah, we didn't or the droid. The droid. He we said we had the girl. girl. Everything was fine. It's all this fucker's <laughs> fault. And he's like, yeah, it is. Cut, 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 <laughs> cut, cut, cut. I'll go back and talk to the girl again. Meanwhile, she's Jedi mind yes. tripped. <laughs> now, do you know who this stormtrooper is that she Jedi mind tripped? It's I Daniel see. Craig. Yeah. So she fucking oh, mind tricked James Bond. Oh God! I think he was a plant. He was there to let her go because yeah. he's. Working I would have loved it had he pulled off the helmet and he's like, 
Bond. James Bond. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> and they just escaped that way. I would have bought that more than anything else that's happened. I'd have been like, motherfucking James Bond's rescuing her. Or at least she could have looked at him and goes, you're kind of short for a stormtrooper. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was the line from the end of Moonraker? They're entering. Yeah. <laughs> He's attempting re-entry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They, they and you'll drop your gun. Somewhere. And I'll drop my gun. Uh, yeah. Now, how does she do that? She's you, never seen it done before. No, never yeah. seen it done. Even Luke's like, like when Obi Wan did it in the New Hope, he's like, "What the fuck? How did you do yeah. that?" Yeah. Totally unaware. Yeah, and she—it's established early on that she doesn't even like. I thought Luke was a, a myth, you know? Like, yeah, I don't even know how she knows how to do this. Like, yeah, apparently. Okay, the Jedi. No real knowledge of the Here's Force, the thing: or... Jedi were nearly extinct when New Hope came around. Yeah. thirty years ago, yeah. Luke tried to bring the Jedi back. They were all slaughtered. Has been in hiding since. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The Last Jedi. How does she know all this? I'm, I'm thinking uh, it's when he revealed she was a Padawan. He wiped her memory, and it's all like all subconscious. I don't. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that. But at all. anyway. Yeah. Uh, Ren makes it back. Ray, yeah, she's escaped. No, no, yeah, Ren, he goes back, and she's escaped. And but, he throws a, a fit. Yeah. Now, this is the great thing. You see yeah. outside, and you see sparks flying out of the cell. These it's storm, funny. These I two stormtroopers yeah. walk up. They go, whoa, turn around and walk the other way. Right. Someone says, uh, uh, oh, oh, God, uh, Teg and Blank live. Yeah. Who was the two stormtroopers? The comics. Tag. Tag and no, I don't Bank. know. Dark Horse did this story. Where there is these two guys that were stormtroopers, that whenever you see two stormtroopers do something stupid, like it's okay, always them. It's always them. Yeah, they they worked them into it. <laughs> where it's like, oh, it's those two guys. We're like, whoa, fuck yes, and they turn around <laughs> and leave. Yeah, and like I said, it, it does have humor. Oh, but we oh, you know what else we meant over oh. is that Han Solo, Finn, and Chewbacca are going to go to the planet surface to deactivate the shields and rescue. They're rescuing Ray, but Finn has told them that he knows how, which he doesn't. Right, yeah. which he doesn't reveal until they're down there. So the he just risked the lives of every single person. Yeah. Right. Oh, now here's another one. If we noticed, uh, Chewie gets shot. Yeah. Escaping from not indoor. Yeah, or the first scene. Yeah. Yeah. My okay. wife's like, I don't like it. <laughs> Why yeah. is Chewie shot? Why? Is... But anyway, so not Chewie's. The first scene, but yeah, yeah. Early on. But anyway. And all this is is we learn that you know, Han Solo gets bitchy when he's cold. He didn't like it. On That's funny. Like it. I, I do like that line. He's like, "What do you mean you're cold?" <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. I love that line. That was so funny. I mean, and, and later, later they're like going back out, and Chewbacca hands Solo his coat, right, and he's right. looking at him. He's like, Fuck you. Right. But so, and they revealed so then the yeah. they get to the so he jumps in, does the thing, and then Finn, Finn's like, Yeah, no, I was a janitor. Yeah. And he's like, What the? And he's like, Well, we'll just use the force. And he's like, The force doesn't work that way, <laughs> yeah. which is exactly what I want to tell every other thing in this movie. <laughs> yeah. When Ray's like doing the Jedi mind trick and learning how to lightsaber battle, I was like, The force doesn't work that way. Now, now what I love yeah. also is they're going into the, 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 the shielded area. Okay, this thing is. What three times the size of the original Death Star? Mm -hmm. It just so happens that's where like the detention show, show the, the yeah detentions. yeah you know at least they had to look it up on a computer in Star Wars. He's yeah. like, we got to find out. He's like the princess, she's here, and they tell her where it is, and then they go down there. Yeah, yeah, that was something that confused me a lot. Like, well, Ray's already escaped, so like, all together in the same area. Yeah. Now, could it be the base itself is that small? Spot. And the planets just, and, I don't and the, know. The, the, the hollowed out planets just I'm going to tell you what, that whole base felt a lot smaller than the Death Star, even though it was supposed to be bigger. Well, like the interior the whole base. Yeah. The, it might not be a completely hollowed out planet. It might just be that middle section that's the I weapon. I don't know. But um, know. They, they kidnap Captain... Phasma, Phasma. And make her turn the shields off. Right. Yeah. And she, and she does, does it her. immediately. Immediately folds. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't get smacked around nothing. Right, yeah. He's just like, Roar, and he's like, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, he's like, you'll never beat us. And then they're like, let's stick her down a trash compactor. Yeah, right. <laughs> that trash was compactor. pretty disappointing. Yeah, yeah no shit, it was very disappointing. Then they find Although I'm used to, this is about the point in the movie where my arms are starting to cross <laughs> and I'm starting to scowl. Yeah. I'm not starting to be happy. And then I really start, my lip starts curling about something that's going to happen here in a second. Okay. <laughs> so the shield's down. There's the No, they set the bombs. The shields right. are not down yet, because what happens first 
is Han Solo sees Kylo Ren. And they walk yes. out on a bridge with no fucking railing, even though it's over a bottomless pit. No, wait. Then what's her no. name? What's her name? Took out the shields. No. no, no. No, Chewie blows it up. Yeah. That's what takes out the shield. No, well, no, that no. doesn't take out the shield either because Poe has to fly in. Like, what it yeah, is? No, I don't like. No, 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 I'm confused on this. Okay, how this is even happening. Like, what it is is. Was anybody this confused on how Luke blew up the Death Star? No. no. <laughs> okay, what it is is they take down the shields so the X wings can bomb it. But what it is, what they're bombing is like oh, like solar right. radiator or radiator regulators. Yeah. Okay, so they did they take the, the shields down. Okay, yeah. Right. So and the that's shield that's a completely that's different thing. Yeah, that's what they're planting the bombs did, on. Is yeah. The regulators. How did they take out the shields? I can't. Oh, they, they had the, the chick yeah. just turned yeah. it off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay. No daring mission where they right. had they were betrayed and then the Ewoks came yeah. in and saved them and they had a big battle and then they went down there and blew it up. No, they just like, hey, turn that shit off. And she's like, okay, click. You'll never get away with this you're, you're shaggy dog yeah. meddling kids <laughs> and then so okay so the shield's <clears throat> down they get ray yep and then they got it they're losing that's what it is yeah because the tie fighters show up right so they're getting yeah. picked off the, the, the x-wings are losing they're not having any effect so they go in there to bomb it they're gonna the plant the bombs the explosives yes. and that's when han solo sees kylo ren on the game plank with no with no, anytime you see a big gigantic bridge with no handrails, you know somebody's falling off of it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and he calls out, Ben, ben! ben! which so of is course, he named after Obi Wan Kenobi. I'm guessing, but okay. Well, so... they wouldn't have met. Uh, Ben's really important in their lives. You don't well, understand. Han Luke... Han's only met him for a short period. Leia yeah. never met him, as yeah. far as we know. Leia heard of him, but if it wasn't for Ben Kenobi, they never would have met. Luke, Luke, Leia, and Han never would have met if Ben Kenobi had not entered their lives. You have to think about that. So they, yeah. they've been lifelong friends. Two of them became husband and wife, I'm guessing, and had a child together. Yeah. You know what I mean? She found her long-lost brother. All this happened because of Ben Kenobi. Yeah. He's, like, very important to their lives. So naming your child after this person is not that big of a stretch. Okay. I just thought it would have been Luke that would have done it well, maybe because he, he like, was the one. Well, mind-tricked him into doing it. <laughs> you want to name him Ben? Hey, let's name him Ben. Yeah. It's a really cool name. <laughs> it's a really cool so, name. So, of course, the first thing is to take off that mask. And, and he, he does, takes off the mask, and it's like he he drops it, and all of a sudden it like weighs a ton. Yeah. With four, you know. What do you Maybe that explains why he's always, mask. like, down squatting, because it's so heavy. <laughs> like, oh, this fucking helmet. It's like, I want to be like Vader, but this thing weighs a ton. <laughs> right. And why is it so elaborate? Like, every time he takes it off, it's like three pieces have to move out of place. Well, I mean, like, Vader's was that way, but, I mean, but it was like, a it light was light like light. automatic. It was like this. the top part came off, well, and it was... made sense because it was a neck respirator type thing, yeah. and then another thing went over the yeah, top. Yeah, why does his like need fashion. to seal? Yeah, I don't know. Fashionable. Yeah. His makes sense because you had all this equipment to keep Darth Vader alive. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. And Kylo Ren also, like, it had, like, scratches and stuff, you mm -hmm. know? So I thought maybe, it looked cool, but... So maybe it was just to, yeah. just to be more like yeah, Vader. That's yeah. I'm going to tell you this. I liked so. the look of Kylo Ren. Yeah. yeah. It's his character I don't like. It's sort of yeah. like Rey. I like Rey's character. I just don't like what they made okay. her do. Yeah. So anyway, he and Han have this, you know, talk. And you knew it was coming, yeah, right? Yeah, you knew it was yeah, coming. Ben oh, even yeah. says, I'm having a struggle between the light and the dark. And... I need you to help me do yeah, something. there's something I need to do, but I don't know if I'm strong enough to do it. Or have the Can you help to me? Can you help me? He's like, yeah, I'll do anything for you. And he's like, here, press this lightsaber up against your chest then. Yeah. <laughs> Kills him off. Throw, he falls off. Now we never see the body he, drop. He rubs, he puts his hand on his face. Oh, as he falls. That, and yeah. that, but that is the universal. That's what happened to Finn. That's what turned him mm -hmm. to the light. Yeah, well, but no, we, ne we never see the body drop, and we do. Oh, but it's the he, old. He, even though Han does look human, you know he could be. He's an alien. His vital organs could be okay. in his legs for all the fuck we know. But here's <laughs> it, <laughs> no. They did the ultimate. He ain't coming back. He took a lightsaber to the chest. Then he fell down a bottomless pit into the core of a planet. That then they blew that fucking planet <laughs> up. Oh. They wanted to make sure Han Solo is not coming back. Oh, shit. They bring in all the other Star Trek shit in. They can tell me they don't have a teleporter somewhere. And this is... Julie <laughs> freaks the fuck out, which now, is great. Now here's the deal. Everyone... Now, okay, let's start here. Everyone bitches that at the end, Kylo doesn't put up the fight he should. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Chewie shoots him in the side. That's not my problem. It's that Ray put up too good of a fight. With with the blaster that we see knocks other guys yeah. like 10 feet away. Right. And he's bleeding. He's and... bleeding out. And, yeah. 
But yeah, Chewie <laughs> Chewie does not take Han dying easily. Oh yeah, yeah he flips out, he and he, he knows that that he knows that's Han Solo and Princess Leia's son. Yeah, and he don't care. He oh, just yeah. killed Han Solo. I'm shooting this bitch. Oh, he, he pulls that gun out and starts shooting him. Well, yeah, one of the shoots him, and, and then when all the stormtroopers show up, he's just a damn crack shot. He's a boom, boom. Yeah, boom. Yeah, and you know what's yeah, even better? Uh, he wants. To, he just wants to die because he yeah. grabs the detonator the and blows it up place. while they're all still inside. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. doesn't care. Chewie is taking Don's death really oh, yeah. badly. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and but somehow they don't all die. Yeah, no, they, they get, get out. They get in the hot in the millenn- No, they don't get in the Millennium Falcon because yeah, Kylo Ren out. somehow appears. Yeah, they like run out and he yeah. They're all he the gets surface ahead of, of the them. Plane. I have no idea yes, how he, he got does. ahead of them. Yeah, he he did that Force. before. When she's running through the forest, right? Like, he just appears in front of them. Yeah, Yeah, because don't explain it, whatever. But first, uh, uh, he he knocks Ray into a tree, knocks Mm -hmm. her out. Mm -hmm. So Finn goes in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's... uh, Now, Ken... Kylo, Ben, let's just call him fucking Ben. Ben I beating his side. can't remember Kylo. Yeah, Kylo's beating his side, trying to like, numb it, or he's bleeding yeah, now. Yeah. Again, would not bleed. That would have cauterized it. It's, it's heated plasma. Master, uh, yeah. yeah. It would not have, it would have cauterized it. Okay, cauterized so he immediately, and Finn but, fight. But Finn gets in a... think about oh. it, when Obi-Wan cuts off the arms of the, the alien... Which I didn't like. Tina it shouldn't have bled. Bloody. Okay, anyway. Because when Luke gets his hand oh, off, it doesn't I, I always want to know how a walrus man has, like, wolfman arms. That's yeah, what I always right. play Because <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He has, like, a flipper. If you can see it in the shots, it's they, like, were like, well, I guess we need this insert shot. So they just, <laughs> they threw, they just threw, like, a wolfman hand on the floor. And they just poured some blood on it. Exactly. Like, I don't know. It's a, it's an arm off. It's going to have some blood because on it, Because right? originally he was going to decapitate the walrus man. Oh. There's a, ben was going to, like, he, you know how he goes, cheese and then he goes, ching, up time. Yeah. He's going to cut the gun out of his hand. Then he's going to decapitate him. And they were actually going to show the head come off. Oh, and they decided to cut back on that. So they just cut to this arm on the ground. <laughs> An unrelated arm. That's, but, the, that's the other guy. But right. Finn gets in a couple good shots. And that's even great. The action figure comes oh. with the, the hands that you see in the shot. And then the hands... The, the, the Wolfman hands on the arm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it does. It's great. I remember he came with a detachable arm. <laughs> he does. He came with a detachable arm, too. <laughs> Do like the Luke one started coming with detachable hands. hands. <laughs> My favorite thing is uh, they show a, a, a picture of uh, Ray and she goes, I wonder what will happen to me in the second film. And it shows Anakin goes, well, in my second film, I got, I, I was able to do this and this, and then I got my hand cut off. Then it shows Luke going, yeah, and in my second film, I did this and this, and I got my hand cut off. She goes, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. He's like, dear God, I hope it doesn't happen to me. <laughs> so, well, we know what but, to expect. Anyway, so Finn gets in a couple good shots. Yep. So, okay, so Stabbed the guy's now shoulder. been shot. He's gone through emotional problems. He's got whacked in the shoulder with a lightsaber. Now, this was a cool scene. He he knocks Finn down, knocks him out, whatever. He slashes him across the back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Which yeah, would which, hurt. Yeah, yeah, which I'm surprised he's not I'm surprised he's, he's not dead. Yeah. I'm at, surprised, least, at least not his spine not severed. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised they didn't put him in the tube like Luke was in. That's what I, yeah. I, yeah, I, they I, should I, have. I they yeah. would have. I, that would have been another kind of... Cool but uh, the 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 blue lightsaber falls into the snow. And well, he's so, like something. He's like, "Where did you get that? That doesn't belong to you. That's my yeah. birthright." So uh, Kylo reaches well, and out. How does he recognize? I don't know. He, yeah, okay. he just, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Kylo reaches out with instead of just walking over and picking the fucking thing up, right. he walks over or he reaches out with the force and he's straining, he's straining. It moves, it shoots up, and whizzes past his head. Yeah, and Ray catches it. Yeah. All right. The he thing that after being him. trained by Obi-Wan Kenobi, then practicing what Obi-Wan Kenobi taught him, that Luke's had to really concentrate <laughs> to do in Empire Strikes Back, she can do with no training whatsoever. And can do it better than the guy who has been trained by Luke Skywalker <laughs> and Supreme Leader but, 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 Voldemort. And, yeah, and his somehow, training's not done, and he's gone to the dark side, and he's a whiny bitch. <laughs> so. But also, but it was kind of, I thought, strange that they are in a line with each other. Yeah. He's trying to grab it, and it's not moving. Meanwhile, she's also she's not pulling against him. Which, how does she know she's, how to do know, it? It doesn't make any but, sense. Because she's seeing him do it. It's kind of like whatever. the whole mind thing. 
He tries to reach into her mind and make her tell him. Oh, so something. she's Taskmaster. So now she's realized, hey, yeah. I can do this shit, and she so she tries it. Yeah. Listen to the first five minutes. Of the and, episode, of, and of course, know. she's so much better at everything oh, than yeah. he is. So now she's not like doing flips and shit. She's doing like yeah. Luke Skywalker flips. Or right. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I kind of actually when she was like going up on the top of those things, like running away from him. Didn't she did jump across at one point, I think, didn't she? I don't know, but they get into a lightsaber fight, and <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he basically, I mean, she kicks his ass. I Imagine. thought she cut off his hand at one point when she yeah. knocks it off. Oh, I thought, she, I thought she yeah, beheaded she him sliced, at one point. Or she cut the lightsaber in half, or she did something. Yeah, like she, she, she oh, put it in the snow, and then, yeah, yeah forced it in the snow. Like, and then. Well, when he's got her pressed against, uh, back to the crevasse that is opened. Oh, then and he's she like the her eyes to let the force. Yeah, he's, he's like I her. can complete your training. Yeah, or something like that. Which is you can't complete your own training. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I don't. I believe Darth Vader when he says that to Luke, but I don't believe that from yeah. him. Yeah. Now, now, what I do like, and real quick, go back with the Finn. We always joked about uh, Ren's or Kylo's uh, lightsaber because it's got the two little sides. Yeah. And then they get in the stance. Where they're face to face. Oh yeah, it works. And it he actually, it his... yeah, he puts it in his shoulder. Yeah, that little yeah. part. Like... I like. I, I had never had a problem with Kylo Ren's lightsaber. Let's yeah. just say that yeah. I've never had a problem with it. Never. But you know, my problems are with this movie movies. are not that small. They are big problems. And yeah. and let's be honest, when when most Jedi's we see get their arms cut off or hands cut off, it's a good idea to have the hand guards. Right. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is a good yeah, idea. Makes sense. It's a it's a so, occupational hazard. Yeah. But and anyway. It, so yeah, so she she calls upon the force back. and then she just kicks his ass. Right. She she, she uh, which seems like rage. she's tapping into the dark side because she's all like roaring rage. and growling yeah, and yeah. shit. Uh, slashes his face, not horribly. I mean, he's gonna have a big yeah. scar, but he's not totally. But I mean, like she's not like calm and collected, like right. No, she's, you know, it's not like what how Obi Wan Kenobi fought Vader, where it's like no, yeah. it's like I'm not mad at you. I'm just doing what I gotta do. Right. No, she's like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna gut you. I'm gonna right. cut your head off, and I'm gonna well, s- let's take it in, and I'm gonna shove it up your that, ass. That's how Luke defeated Vader, cause he yeah, went ape shit on sure. her. And, and he, and then he was like, oh shit, I turned to the dark, dark side, side, and he threw his lightsaber yeah. away. No, not Ray, cause Ray, <laughs> right. whatever Ray does, is right and good with the universe. Well, maybe she so, becomes the new. So spirit. she almost has him. The planet splits. You know, like a. Yeah, Ra- real convenient yeah, between the two of them. I thought maybe an explanation. Okay, we got two possible theories on this. When she sticks his lightsaber in the ground between them, maybe it triggered some kind of a pocket of gas chain reaction <laughs> that split the ground there. Then also, I think, what if the force is like the one ring and it just makes things happen? Because uh, it knows he has to survive, uh, and if it wouldn't yes, have opened exactly. us, he, she would have killed the, it him. It was a force crack for maybe, the universe. Maybe, maybe the force was saving her from herself. You guys, because if you she would have killed him, she would have turned. She would, yes, she would have turned to the uh, dark side. You're making excuses for this movie. <laughs> yes, right. I had to work for that because that really bugged me. So anyway, the first time I saw it. I, so the second time I was looking for anything. All I'm hearing is that you guys agree with me. You're just not as indignant and insulted by enjoyed, it as I am. I enjoyed the movie. Movie. I like, enjoyed it. If, if it, you don't it, analyze everything, it's a fun movie. I think, yeah. You know? It, it, it I felt to me like a story. Okay, anyway, so, so, so Chewie's got the Millennium Falcon going. She gets Finn. They get the fuck out. They Chewie's got to carry Finn, of course, to the, you know. The uh, damsel. He's got to carry yeah. the, the damsel <laughs> away. But I'm surprised that Ray didn't just force carry him all the yeah, way. Yeah, really. The, just whoops. Yeah, no, mm. I'm surprised she didn't just bring the Millennium well, see, Falcon. She would have dragged him, but he would have that. She would have actually had to hold a, an icky boy's hands, yeah, yeah. and so that's why she made Chewie do it. Uh, they're back at the base. She more or less, you know, her and Leia have a moment. I this you know. I don't get. She doesn't even know Leia. Chewie it walks right past Leia. Bitch. You you know what it should have been? It should have been Leia looking up at Chewie and Chewie looking down at Leia, and then they hug, and then Chewie does that horrible growl that he did on Hoth. Yeah. Because he's ki- he, they're both dying that Han Solo is dead. No, Chewie just walks on. <laughs> you know why? Because Chewie's going, I told him, bros before hoes. He hooks up, has this bastard kid. If it wasn't for that, he'd still be alive. No, no. <laughs> Chewie blames Leia? The reason that Le- Rey- Leia has to hug Rey is because Rey is the most important person in the universe. Yeah. That's that's a good point though because yeah there's no 
Ray was not there. She just looked at her side and then, before, right? And then, no. oh, so check she this has out. been captured. Check this out. R two D two. We didn't mention it. R two D two completely comatose. Yeah, he's been in he's power been download. deactivated since Master Luke disappeared. Yeah, like power saving. Guess mode. what time R two D two wakes up? At the end. At the exact. Right hey point. guys, I know Han Solo's dead and everything's gone to shit, but I'm awake now. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> Luke felt the disturbance in the Force when Han died, and he sent the Force and powers that's to wake up. R2-D2. Another thing, I'm com- uh, the Holy Trinity: Luke, Leia, and Han. Never are together on screen. Yeah. Yep. Right. Never. Luke, and Luke doesn't even they they fly off, they go straight to Luke. She Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She leaves. He, Finn's like, he's got a heartbeat, he's gonna survive. You know, yeah. and then she, her and Chewie jump on and the Millennium Falcon and fly that's off. That's why he wasn't in the tube, I think, because they needed to she needed to walk over to him and, and kiss talk him on the forehead. Yeah, yeah, kiss yeah, her head. <laughs> she couldn't just be like Nice diaper. You're yeah, alive. right. Yeah. yeah, so, but that's. See, R2D2 comes alive and he projects the rest of the map, and then here comes BB 8 and he projects his little so piece, nice. and now they know where Luke is, so they fly off. And, well, and why Why do they make. Why are their maps made out of puzzles? I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so that way, okay. yeah, not one person knew where you he was. You shouldn't expect things to make sense or be explained in this movie because they don't. Okay, but the thing is, okay, the Now, this so- movie should have ended right yeah. here at the end. Yeah. But it doesn't. She flies off to find Luke. Right. With Chewie and R2. She's the new... She is now Han Is BB-8 there? No, BB-8... Yeah, no, no, R2. R, BB-8's with Poe again. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. Poe actually shot up the whole... Well, he flew inside no, the no. Death Star and blew up things right. that created a chain reaction. Yeah, Never yeah. seen that before either. Yeah. Okay. But uh-huh. yeah, so in the final scene... And this is like, yeah, everything you're saying, Ray is Luke... Han and Leia now. She's the she's master everybody. of the Millennium Falcon. Yep. Chewie's co-pilot. She's the only Jedi in the universe now, or whatever. And she's the and spunky no, girl who can take care of herself. Yes. Now, you know what? I'm sorry. She's everything to everybody. But, mm-hmm. but when she sat down, Chewie, says, Chewie more or less... No. Said, that's my seat, bitch. Yeah. I'm the oh, captain now. That's a good... Your ass is over in co-pilot. I'm the captain now. You know, Chewie should have. She should have walked on Chewie's worn a vest, yeah. <laughs> like Lando. He's wearing a shirt. It's way too small. He's like, it's like all button and hair sticking out. And he's like, <laughs> that's a really good point. Yeah, that that would have been hilarious. He was next in line. That's yes, true. he was. Yeah, he She's was. like, where did you get that? He's like, <laughs> So they fly off, and there's this island. And they oh, land, yeah. and she climbs a bunch of steps. Right. And then she gets up there to the top, and there's a robed figure. And Obi-Wan Kenobi. And she slowly turns around and looks at her. And does Mark Hamill not look totally badass? Yes. He he look, I was like, holy shit, she he, goes he looks like him. Alec Guinness. I was like, it's it's it's, it's crazy. And she goes to hand him his original lightsaber. Yeah, she hands it out. Right. And Luke, Mark Hamill... Acted more with his face yes. than Princess Leia did the entire film. I knew yeah. everything Luke was thinking. Yes, this was one of those moments. This was the yeah of that it was just all there in the in the acting. They cut back and forth three times, and each time it kind of it just kind of came over him, you know, mm-hmm. and his, he started to get yeah. his eyes started to. It's like know, it's like he recognized him. the saber, then he looked up, and then I almost got the impression I know who you are too. Yeah, now, and they now, know what's happening. And, and he, knew what, and he knows what's going on. Okay, now it's like, this is, it's starting again. Yeah. Yes, now here's the theories. Is Ray Luke's daughter? Is, Lay, is uh, Ray Ben's twin sister? Because twins run in families. I would have thought they would have known. Yeah, Leia yeah. would have let on. I think so. But then yeah. again, Leia Especially didn't know her own sister. Her own sister, her own brother. Well, but they were separated at birth, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody would have hidden the, those twins from but no, there was that because he was good. He went to train with Luke Skywalker. He was old enough to train as a Jedi. Yeah. So which was very young. I mean, if they go like the old old school, yeah. So, but yeah, yeah and I don't know what's with this three sixty helicopter shot that they did. Yeah. I didn't like it. It should have just ended on her handing it to him and him looking now, down at it, and then him looking up, and then credits. Yeah. No. Well, I did feel like they needed to go back to the two shot. I. I mean, I felt like it, it. I didn't want it to end on her or end on him alone. 
uh, because that I don't know what that would have said about. Like, well, it would have been kind of cool if he he'd reached out and he'd taken it, yeah. and he looked down and then he well, looked at her. But again, it's a cliffhanger thing. It's like, is yeah. he Did going he take to it? take it? Is he he going shouldn't to back, need it. He should have his other lightsaber still, so she yeah. might get to keep that. I don't know. Did he have it at the end of Jedi? Because I knew he, he had threw it at, away or threw um, it across the floor. I don't, he may have had it on his belt in Indoor. I'll have to go back and watch yeah. it. Or when he's dragging. Vader when he goes over shield. there and and he looks at the Obi Wan, Yoda, and yeah. Anakin. Right. Now here's the only thing I would have changed at that ending is when the Senate planet got destroyed. You should have saw him. Oh yeah, I was one of the ones sh- the Star Killer base destroyed. Yeah, right. you should have seen him. On that, and he like well, they like, wanted turns to, s- to the camera because he feels it. Right. Maybe when, not when, seen him, but seen like somebody meditating, and then they look up. Yeah. And yeah. then they kind of just like turn, but you don't see because his... Ben felt what happened to Alderaan. Right. Oh, it's yeah. like a billion souls cried out at once. Right. Leia should have felt it. And then when everybody's too. coming back at the end, you should have seen a ship coming down. Like he felt Han pass, and he got his ass on a ship. And got or back. he should have just been there from. That should have been who. BB-8 was actually looking for. Yeah, but. they should. The thing is, it shouldn't have been a map. They should have actually been looking for Luke Skywalker on Jakku, yeah. and it should have been Tatooine. Because yeah. <laughs> you know, where else would he hide? Oh, you know, and then you know. we leave leave out that that um, General Hux, the the guy that Hitler. Right. Yeah. He goes and he talks to Lord Voldemort, and he says, "Bring Kylo Ren to me. Right. It's time Escape to complete his, his training." training. Yeah. So he escapes. I'm, I don't know he if Captain Phasma did because if they threw her down a trash compactor, she, she blew up escapes. with the planet. Yeah, they're gonna. Sure. She, they're gonna have to bring but her back. That's the end. Da, 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 I, I look for it. Now here's the deal. I don't know if it had any episode, ex- after credit sequence no. good because that's Ep- not very Star Wars. No. Yeah. Episode eight will be on the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. Star Wars. Mm-hmm. So that should be a big thing. Is, so that is the next one. Or yes. They're not gonna put. No, like, there's Rogue Ro- One. Rogue okay. One is in between. That's what I thought. Okay. For, Which I was looking really forward to Rogue One until I saw this one, and then I'm like, well, mm. it's a completely different creative the main, team, right? The main storyline is every two years. In yeah. between, there's a Star Wars movie between right. each one. Okay, yeah, so, that's what that's what so I meant. So we're getting by the next four years, six years of Star Wars. Yeah, mm. from Matt to bitch about. I'm still <laughs> depends on the next one, man. I it's yeah. and who's doing this next one? Uh, the guy who does Looper, uh, oh, Ryan. Oh no, he's doing Episode Eight. Oh, the next but one, uh, Garth one. Garrett Edwards, the guy who did Godzilla. Okay. I don't know. I like Godzilla. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll yeah. have to see. It'll All be right. interesting. I don't know. Let's I'm do our, our, I mean, our trivia now no that we've... I'm not going to see it. Yeah, that's, that's a quarter after Because we're going to have to get going. Yep. i got to actually go to work tomorrow. It sucks. Well, if it's open, like with this blizzard we're getting. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, I bet it will be. Which of Spidey's enemies has an impenetrable... impenetrable Hide, rhino, and a horn on his head. What was Doctor Pym's villainous identity? Uh, yellow jacket. Yeah, yellow jacket. Apocalypse he, turned Wolverine into which of the four horsemen? Death. death. What Ooh. is Dark Dark Hawk's real name? Ooh, shit. Something um, Powell. I know his last name was Powell because because it, it was yours. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Who did Peter Parker have a crush on in high school? We've gone over these before. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, geez, he had a crush on Liz Allen. The rhino, yellow jacket, death, Chris Powell. And Liz Allen. Okay, let's try one more. Since we're yeah, here. come on. Yeah, hey, the reason Will didn't get any is because you just didn't ask the right questions. Right. Yeah. I got the rhino, but we, we tied. I right? yeah. said at the same time. I also, like I said, I randomly pick these out. I don't know. Well, you know, there's only so many, so many cards in there. So, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm guessing people go. who've been asking me what my problems with Star Wars right, are, I guess, quick. can listen to this there podcast. Who is the master of magnetism? Magneto. Magneto. Who is Mystique's son? Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. And Grayson Creed. Mm. But I bet the answer is Nightcrawler. Yes. Who is Black Bolt's wife? Medusa. Medusa. Who cloned Steve Rogers' body and transferred, it, transferred the Red Skull's consciousness into it? High evolutionary? No. No, come wrong. on now. Come on, think about it. Nazi. Zola? Zola. No, Zola. Name three of the four original members of the Brotherhood of the Evil Mutants. Toad. Yes. Uh, Mastermind. Yep. Magneto. Yes. Um, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Quicksilver, yes. I, I've named more than three. Okay. Magneto, Nightcrawler, Medusa, Adam Zola. Zola. Magneto, Arm. Toad, Scarlet yes, Witch. Arm. Mastermind was an original member, wasn't he? I thought as he was. As far as I knew. Magneto, Toad, Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver. I thought... 
I'll have to look it up. I thought Mastermind was an original member. If he wasn't original, he came in the second yeah, appearance. Okay. All right. Okay. Or well, you guys I'm, totally sh blew it. It I'm sure Mastermind I'm going to get all the bulk of these, but uh, send all complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. Although I thought I made a compelling argument. You guys were like, oh, I can't argue with that. I agree with right. that. Well, it, every movie has its faults. Right. I mean, we could nitpick. Except Raiders of the Lost Ark. Or, you know what? Well, yeah, except, except for, for the, the whole, whole yeah. <laughs> he would, it would have ended. You well, you know what? I, I nitpicked about Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I said, "There's a scene on Star Wars. You remember where they send the the, the scanner crew uh, up to, to scan the Millennium oh, Falcon? Right, right. You hear the commotion. Then you hear, hey guys, can you come up here and help?' And two yeah. stormtroopers up. You hear, pew, 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 pew. Yeah. So they kill That's the exactly what those lasers sound exactly. like. Exactly. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> All right. Luke and Han take the Stormtroopers' outfits, put them on. There's no blaster marks on them. That's because they were like, hey, can you take your helmets off so I can shoot you there? <laughs> right. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> they shoot and kill them. There's no... So right. you can nitpick it all apart. Nah. Yeah, but I... Mm, it's not good. <laughs> it's, this movie, like Jakku, is trying... It's, it's like Tatooine, but it's not Tatooine. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. movie is like Star Wars, but it's not Star Wars. Yes, but anybody so. who's not a Star Wars fan could watch Star Wars and just pick the you know, pick whatever. it apart. Anyway, like how many times has Ben lie? Come on now, especially with the episode many one, of the two, and three. You cling to depend greatly upon your own point of view. Yeah, no. <laughs> so our Facebook page is facebook.com dot slash scramblebrainscast. You can like us there. Yep, uh, please, we're please. also on Twitter at scramblecast. Uh, you go to iTunes, find yeah, us there. Do that. Uh, review, subscribe. Um, and things. while you're doing that, go go to uh, YouTube as well and subscribe there. That would be great. Yep. Because yes. all these are on YouTube, and we need 100 likes. 100 subscriptions. 100 subscribers. subscriptions. Yeah, yeah whatever. But that, that thing, that thing. Do that thing. Yeah. Do that and, thing. Um, but, of course, all these links. So if, if I you can't find them this way, just go to www.scramblebrainscast.com. And that's where everything is. It's a world of scrambled brainsness. Yep. It's a world, world of wonder. And we'll see you in the new year. Yeah, new is year. I think this will probably be our, is this our last episode before yeah, new 2015? Is, oh, yeah, yeah like New Year's week, is right? the uh, Sunday. Like, oh, Friday, shit. Friday. Yeah, you're right. We're no, gonna... Thursday. Thursday's New Year's <laughs> Eve. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> no. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday Sunday. Friday, Friday, Friday's the first. Friday is the first, so... Yeah. Okay, and I want to go ahead and throw another uh, plug in here. Nobody's listening anymore, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Lake and Nick and Nick, go check yep. it out. Oh, you'll put it on the beginning. Yes. <laughs> yeah, throw it in the beginning. So that I don't want to listen to that guy tear apart my favorite new movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So anyway, goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other. <laughs>